Good afternoon from the rink at Ithaca Hockey fans. Thank you very much for tuning into this broadcast of Upstate New York Collegiate Hockey League here on Nickel City Hockey Network. This afternoon's matinee matchup features the Buffalo State Bengals and the home team Cornell Big Red. Hello, I am Sean McHugh alongside John Dwyer as we get you ready for puck drop with the Ivy Lee Pharmacy pregame show brought to you by Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy for over 60 years in Kenmore. John. Today's game is a meeting from two teams moving in very different directions. Yeah, that's right, Sean. Buffalo State was in the league title game last year, went 17-5-1, and, and made an appearance in the CHF National Tournament. Meanwhile, while Cornell was a 7-7 seven seven team and was knocked out of the playoffs in the first round, this year, Cornell is the program on the rise. 5-0-1 oh with only one overtime loss to Niagara. Outscored opponents 50-14. Yep, and on the other side of the rink, John, we have the Buffalo State Bengals coming in at a very unfamiliar 2-8 on this season. Last night against the Erie Community Cats, they did snap an eight-game losing skid, winning 10-7 at home. Uh, veteran forward Ben Gallivan scored four times for the Buffalo State Bengals and is now at 10 goals for the season. And after conversation with the coaching staff today, he is at 48 goals, two away from the milestone of 50 goals for the career. So you got to think the Cornell defense will be certainly focused on number eight when he has the puck or is even on the ice. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Big Red will look to continue to play their strengths. They have a powerful power play with a league-leading 20 goals. And also expect Cornell defense to be heavily involved, a big mobile defensive core, and the Big Red emphasize transition hockey and playing with speed. And Cornell doesn't get any rest after today's game as they will uh, they will face the Bingham they will, excuse me they will play Binghamton tomorrow and the Nick Nickel City Hockey Network will have live coverage from historic Liner Rink on the campus of Cornell University there so you can join us at noon tomorrow to see the same Big Red take on the Binghamton Bearcats in a massive key UNYCHL Central duel. We uh, do want to take a moment to um, acknowledge some of our sponsors. Our coverage this weekend in Ithaca was made possible by the Hampton Inn in Ithaca. Whether you are traveling through the area, visiting kids at college, or in town for business, the Hampton Inn in Ithaca is the smart choice for your stay. Free Wi-Fi and daily breakfast are included, plus access to the pool, fitness center, and business center. Enjoy all of the wonders of the Ithaca and the Finger Lake areas have to offer and leave the rest to the staff at the Hampton Inn at 337 Elmira Road, not far from the downtown area or the Cornell campus. Looking into the blue paint today, we have, we're gonna go over our starting goaltenders. For the visiting Buffalo State Bengals, we will see a familiar goaltender in net. 
A.J. White, who was looking to regain his form from last season. He is a big reason why the Bengals were in the UNY, played for the UNYCHL Championship last season. And his opponent at the other end of the ice will be number 31, Alexi Rogotkin, the native of Lincoln, Massachusetts. And Alexi is part of a very deep goaltending group that first-year coaches Dave Cole and Wayne Stokes have at their disposal. Yeah, at head coach Cole and Stokes are part of a new focus this Cornell team found last season. And a group of players approached Cole and Stokes last spring with the goal of putting together a first-rate program. Yep, and they have done just that this year, John, as the Cornell, as I said, a massive turnaround here for Cornell coming in with just one overtime loss on the season to the very, very top-heavy, very, very powerful Niagara University Purple Eagles. Uh, and then again, they're looking to regain form on a reeling Buffalo State team. This is a big opportunity for both teams. The Big Red looking to continue their strong play this season as their established goal of making it to Nationals is very much alive. Buffalo State looking to get over a very, very, very uncharacteristically slow start for them. Lots of mistakes in their own end. Looking to get right, and this is a chance where if they can maybe take down a very strong opponent like the Cornell Big Red, that might be the momentum shift they're going to need to move on. The coaches for the Cornell Big Red on that topic say that they are trying to set out to build a culture for a program that will leave a legacy just like, they're, just like many of the activities, sports teams, and everything about Cornell University has thus far this season. Obviously, they are trying their best to make that plan come to fruition, and they are off to a great start at that. Yeah, an example of the growth in the UNY CHL across the C CHF, Cornell, Cornell players talk about not being satisfied with their where their program was last year and where it's going, but watching the CHF National Tournament last March and making it their goal to be there this year. Early on, at least, they are well on their way to making it to Philadelphia. Yep, and we will get to see Cornell again in two weeks as well at the Invitational at Elmira. The Big Red are one of four UNYCHL schools at the showcase event, along with the um, aforementioned Niagara University Purple Eagles, a school I went to, the St. Bonaventure University, and a team we will see tomorrow as well in the Binghamton Bearcats. They will face four of the Empire Conference opponents, and we will have live coverage of all 12 games right here on the Nickel City Hockey Network. That is coming up the weekend of November 18th through the 20th. John, that's going to be really good for the growth of all of these programs and leagues to get to see the top teams all across these divisions and leagues face off against each other to see how far this program, these programs and these leagues have come. This Elmira tournament will just be a mini playoffs almost. This is where you really see who the top teams in the league are. We've already seen them coming up strong. As we said, Niagara, St. Bonaventure, Binghamton, and coming up, Cornell. And Buffalo State Bengals, we'll see today, they want to make their case too. So... This game, this is a big test for the Bengals. This is an even bigger test for Cornell if they can keep this streak alive. Absolutely, and right before we get um, finished with warm-ups here and head over to Puck Drop, we do want to acknowledge our sponsors. Support for today's UNY CHL broadcast is brought to you by Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker to buy, sell, or lease any office, industrial, retail, or investment property. Trust the unparalleled knowledge and experience of Militello Realty. You can call them at 716-856-2872 or visit them at militello.com. By Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy for over 60 years, Ivy Lee can cover your immunization needs from flu shots to the newest COVID vaccine and more. Also, CBD products, home health care, and all of your other pharmacy needs. Visit Ivy Lee Pharmacy at 2446 Elmwood Avenue in Kenmore or at ivyleepharmacy.com. From Pool Mart, your family fun store. Whether you're looking for a pool, hot tub, patio furniture, supplies, or more, Pool Mart has five locations across western New York and northern Pennsylvania to meet your specific needs. Visit online at poolmartonline.com. From Colvin Cleaners, dry cleaning, wash and fold, tailoring, and all garment services, Colvin Cleaners is the region's premier green earth dry cleaner. Uh, visit at their location on Elmwood Avenue in Kenmore or at colvincleaners.com. From Envious Gameware, official uniform supplier of several UNY CHL team, visit them online at enviousgameware.com. By 412 Communications, the new gold standard for digital media solutions for small businesses. 412 Communications offers consultation for web and graphic design, social media, writing and editing services, multimedia solutions, and more. Visit 412communications.com to learn how they can help your brand build bridges with the people you serve. And the Nickel City Hockey Network, Western New York's new broadcast home for amateur hockey. We 
Uh, earlier, earlier this uh, week, I spoke to head coach Dave Cole, and he wanted to mention how Cornell's team aims for a 100% graduation rate with the highest GPA possible. And with a school like Cornell, it's a it's esteemed uh, institution. And on the ice, they're very interested in winning the league and, again, tending the national standing. And he says, while we're just getting started, the commitment level has been outstanding. And that's what you look for in a team. And they look forward to continuing to build, to build the program they set out to create. And it's a young team, but youth, uh, youth in club hockey means nothing. There's talent throughout the ranks, and they play a veteran squad of the Buffalo State Bengals. And... Uh, we got battle of the rookies and the vets tonight. Absolutely. Like you said, age is just a number, especially at this level of hockey. It's all about what team brings it on the ice, whether it's the skill, whether it's the coaching, and a combination of skill, coaching, and discipline. Like you say, Cornell, they are an esteemed university. They do have success in hockey at lots of levels of college hockey. So it's no surprise to see that this team that does have aspirations set on the national, t on the national tournament would also aim for a 100% gra graduation rate. And on the other side of the rink, we have the Buffalo State Bengals, where, as we mentioned earlier, they are off to an uncharacteristically slow start. Doesn't mean the season's over, but the ship needs to get right. It needs to get right now. The task doesn't get easy when Buffalo State comes to Cornell, traveling from Buffalo to Ithaca, and then having to play a very strong, very motivated team on their home ice, fresh off a road trip, but maybe this is what the Bengals need. Maybe they need to get out of Western New York for a second, yeah. play against the top opponent on the road when they can only rely on each other, and, and who knows? Yeah, this is a win. A win today would do a lot for this for this team. Maybe Central New York will do something good for them. Uh, came down here drive earlier today, and so far I've loved the trip. Nice, uh, nice area. You overreach that drive, and you see uh, Lake Cayuga, and... You're like, wow, it's a great place here down in Ithaca. Ride down here wasn't bad at all no. coming from Buffalo. You know, as we the Finger Lake region of Western New York and Ithaca, you know, beautiful place, beautiful place to watch hockey. What do you got for me, John? I'd also like to mention, as we said, the Bengals won last night, and they hope to keep that momentum coming. But I spoke to, once again, spoke to head coach Dave Stokes, and he, Dave, sorry, Dave Cole, and he said, in our last weekend of action, we played at Dwyer Arena in Niagara and played to a 0-0 tie eventually losing in overtime, and he's proud that the boys bounce back in the next day with a strong performance against ECC. The coaching staff was pleased with how the players felt, dealt with disappointment so quickly. Absolutely. It's one thing to win games. It's one thing to win games, but it's equally as important, if not more important, to see how a team can react from a loss, be it a massive blowout or an extremely disappointing loss in overtime against an opponent that I guarantee you if you ask any of the Cornell Big Red players, they will tell you they should have won that game and then you will tell you they deserve to win this game. We have two programs that are respected. We have two programs that offer a lot of talent. We are to the point now of this game where record means nothing. We are going to introduce the lineups for our teams and then we will be ready for puck drop momentarily. And right before we introduce the starting lineups, we're going to acknowledge more of our sponsors. And again, we do want to make it known our broadcast this weekend is brought to you by the, excuse me, our broadcast this weekend are brought to you by the Hampton Inn in Ithaca. For your next trip to Ithaca, book your stay at the Hampton Inn. Daily breakfast, pool, gym, and business center are all included. Take in all the natural beauty of the Finger Lakes and the area around Ithaca and have all of the comforts of home waiting for you at the Hampton Inn, located at 337 Elmira Road, not far from downtown or the Cornell campus. Call to book your next day at 607-277-5500. And we are going to skip the pageantry, we're going to skip the announcements, and we are heading straight to center ice where the officials will get ready to drop the puck. Yeah, a little, late, a little later than we expected, starting at roughly 4.28 p.m. with a game time approximated at 4. But uh, we're going to play some hockey tonight, and we're looking forward to it. Yep, and the Bengals are going to start their line of Captain Joel Tempio with, with uh, Jankowski on his right, Galavan on his left with Bobby Staniszewski and, Bobby Staniszewski and Mitch Thornton playing on D. Cornell will start the line of Robert Dysart. Puck... Puck here by Max Miller, sent up the ice. Cornell looking to hit with speed. Puck sent in down low. Thornton in pursuit for the Bengals. He will get there first. Tied up down low by Cornell. Cornell in front, and A.J. White's tested right away. Great save. Jankowski looks to carry out. Knocked off his stick. Lotempio rolls the puck around behind the net for Mitch Thornton. Thornton sends the puck up to Staniszewski. Staniszewski looking for Gallivan. Gallivan dodges a hit uh, from, they call him Joey Pad. Joey Pad Manaman, the captain for the Cornell Big Red. Cornell... Gains possession, sends the puck all the way up the half wall. Puck gathered there by number 11. That is Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown sends the puck through the neutral zone where Staniszewski is there. 
to pick it up. Staniszewski loses the puck in the zone, and a great recovery by Mitch Thornton as Dennis Brown was almost in alone on A.J. White. Puck sent across the crease, into the corner. Alex Gosen in pursuit for Buffalo State. Cornell keeping it in. Puck jumps right over the stick of the defender trailing in. Picked up, sent back down in by Cornell. That's Sean Benko. Ooh. Puck launched out. Benko picks it up again, and Benko carries over the blue line. One on two. Tries to put it through Mitch Thornton's legs. He gets hit by Thornton, and Galavan goes down to the ice. Puck kept in there by Harry Akins. Akins down low in front. Puck at the doorstep. Kicked away by A.J. White, recovered by Galavan. Gallivan sends it up the wall to Gosen. He is not there, and Sean Benko keeps it in again. Shot into the front of the net, and a big save by A.J. White, and he will hold for the faceoff. Wow, Cornell pedal to the metal right yeah. at the faceoff, and Buffalo State survives an early storm. Earlier this week, I spoke to uh, head coach Tim Turner, and he said Buffalo State needs to work on their defensive core. That's a problem they've had, and he wants A.J. White. He, he, we, he, uh, Tim Turner knows A.J. White has that strong glove hand, and he, he, he wants to see it back. Yep, absolutely. A.J. White, you know, a very decorated goaltender going back to his days at Starpoint. We know that A.J. at his best is as good as anybody, and it is going to be important for the Bengals to get that version of him back after the rough start for the entire team. Bengals looking to get out of their own zone. Pressure by Cornell. Still can't get out. Puck held in at the line. Now the puck is chipped out here to Elliot Hunt. Hunt loses the puck in his skates, and it's picked up again by Luke Crastios. Crastio sends it. Blocker saved by A.J. White. Sent into the corner, but Crastios picks up the puck again. Crastio sends the puck to Barry where he loses it to Luke Stotes. Stotes going in one on two, and he fires it into the bench, and he drills the back of goaltender Taggart Weiss in the shoulder. Good thing he wears his pads on the bench because that thing was coming in hot. Yeah, Stotes is going to want that one back. He was hoping to drop the puck into the end of the zone and let his guys get a change in there. Bengals are going to come out there with the line of Nick Crapsey, Caden Mendick, and Mark Hager with Ryan Hahn and Steven Pernetta on the back end. Cornell sending the puck in. Max Miller sends the puck in deep for, Buff for Cornell. Hahn sends a long breakout pass up to Crapsey. He's rubbed out on the wall, but he gains the line. Crapsey Whoa. catches an edge and, and just Whoa. lands flat on his back. He seems to be okay, but here comes Cornell. Here's Jonah Kim walking the puck, takes the shot. A.J. White, another save. Good to see Nick Crapsey pop up after that. His, his backside yeah. stopped the rest of his body from getting really hurt there. Yeah, uh, the Big Red, they've done a great job so far negating that big pass. And Tim Turner told me a strong suit is breakaways for the Bengals. So Cornell getting early at it, stopping that breakaway pass is, is a good start. Bengals looking to hit the line with some speed. Puck turned over, and here comes Tam and here comes Tamara Rabin. Tamara Rabin takes a shot. Blocker save there by A.J. White. Puck knocked in there by Jonah Kim. Jonah Kim sends the puck in, knocked out by Thornton. Mark Hager in in pursuit, chips the puck out, looking to get it past, jo looking to get it past the Cornell captain, cannot get by him. You're going to see a lot of number six, Joey Padmanabon out there. He is the captain of this Cornell team, a very big, physical, smooth skating defenseman. Cornell walking in again with a shot there by Max Miller. Miller chases the puck in, squeezed out there by Hager. Hager, with, Hager and Caden Mendick applying pressure down in the corner. Held in there by Robert Dysart. Dysart looking down low. Gets the puck taken off his stick, and the Bengals send it out. That's, ooh, that was dangerously close to too many men, but no one touched it. Anthony Lopardo picks up the puck and rewinds behind his own net. Sends a breakup pass up. Does not get out. Kept in there by Jankowski. Jankowski down the half wall. Gets the puck knocked off him. Cornell looking to quickly transition, but the puck is fired back into the zone by Mitch Thornton. Thornton sends it in, and the captain, Joel Tempio in pursuit with the other number 28, Bradley, Bradley Wang, on him. Puck stepped in there by Bradley Wang and Joel Tempio on him, giving him all he can handle right now. Here comes Jankowski and Wang reverses field. Puck held by Cornell, looking for a breakout. Gallivan knocks it back into the zone, but a fortunate bounce to number 11, Max Miller, and he's looking to lead a one-man breakout through the neutral zone. Max Miller over the blue line, sends a pass across, tipped just wide there by Alex Allen. Puck picked up here, sent up through the zone. Here comes the captain, Joel Tempio, up oh, to Mark Jankowski. Great, great read there. Yeah. Great read there by the Cornell defenseman. That was number 28, Bradley Wang. So he looks like, I don't know if it's just match us, but the two 28s have been attached at the hip to start this game. Yeah, Cornell's uh, captain, Joey Padmanaban, you see that big mobile decor, and he's he's leading the charge for them right now. Yes. You, you mentioned how they have that transitional hockey. We're seeing that very early tonight. Five minutes into the game, you can see that Joey Padmanaban is a calming, smooth skating presence back there. Yeah. Forwards can look over their shoulder and feel really good seeing number 26 behind them, knowing that they are supported no matter what. Here's oh a chance for Ben Gallivan. Gallivan looking to outrace the Cornell defenseman. Great back check there by Franklin Barry. 
to stop. There is an example of that fast physical Cornell yeah. defense. Here's Hunt. Takes a shot. Blows it into a shin guard. Great block there by Harry Akins. Elliott Hunt. Down low to Gosen. Gosen looking to reverse size. Looking for a pass to the point. Gosen swings the puck down low to Gallivan. Gallivan gets the puck taken off him. And Cornell looking to start a breakout right here. Here comes Grayson Shaw. Sends the puck up to Sean Benko. Benko sends the puck in. White spins it around the boards. Looking for Gallivan on the half wall. Gallivan. Gets his stick tied up and Cornell comes up with the puck. But a great physical play by Elliott Hunt. And here come the Bengals with numbers. Gallivan coming up the middle. Three on two. Gallivan gets wide. Gets through the defenseman. Puts the shot to the net. First big save of the day there by Alexi Rogotkin. A nice pad save on Gallivan. Shot on net by Ryan Hahn. Picked up by Elliott Hunt. He's got pressure on him. Taking a hit. Ryan Hahn on his pinch. Pursuing himself back into the offensive zone. This should be icing. This is going to be close. Are they going to wave it off? They did wave it off, but the Bengals gained possession. Bobby Staniszewski sends the puck up. Sends the puck up to Max Mayfield. Mayfield gets the puck on the half wall. Still fighting for it. Gosen on top of it as well. Losing the puck in front. Here, we, here comes Cornell. Shot taken high over the top of the net by Matthew Weinstein. Weinstein now has the puck on Max Miller's stick. Miller gets the puck down low. Swept, swiped off his stick, and then the Bengals will look to clear. Elliott Hunt in pursuit with speed, but he has Max Miller cutting him off. Great defense, and there's Joey Padmanaban again. Almost feels like he's being double shifted. Max Miller sends the breakout. He's going to carry through the neutral zone. Miller gains the blue line, looking for a pass. Nowhere to go with it, and it's taken off his stick by Cole Newman. Puck sent up again by the Bengals. Craps, he's looking to chip a team. Gets it by a defenseman. Going in, he's in pursuit on, ta on Tamara Rabin. Rabin sends the puck up to Luke Cresto Crestios. Crestios carrying the puck with the rolling puck through the blue line, through the neutral zone. Nice drag move to get through, but the puck is taken off his stick and sent down below the goal line. Cornell keeping pressure in. The Bengals clear it just to center ice, but that's as far as they're going to get, and they're not even going to get a chance to change. Ped Manabon sends the puck over to Max Miller. Miller gains the blue line, looking for a backdoor pass. Sends one on net, steered to the side by A.J. White. Puck down low, Thornton on, Tam on Tamara Robin. Tamara Robin sends the puck to Joey Padmanaban. Nice move, digs the edges, spins out, looking here for a shot. And they That's score! Wow. Zach, Zach Wiener gets the puck, shoots it through a screen, puts it low glove on A.J. White, and the Cornell Big Red strike first on a point shot from number 14, Zach Wiener. 18, Rabin with the great screen right there. That, that lane wouldn't be there, but Rabin being in front of A.J. White, perfect shutdown, lost his vision there. That was a great play start to finish by the Cornell Big Red. Joey Padmanabon with a really nice job keeping the puck in. Digs his edges, reverses ice, sends it to it, sends a pass D to D to his partner, Zach Wiener, who takes a nice low wrist shot through a screen. And A.J. White's unable to make the save, and the Big Red take the 1-0 lead. I was going to mention how uh, 24 for Cornell, Franklin Berry did a perfect job, perfect job shutting down uh, Buff, uh, Buff State's own uh, Rocket Richard, Ben Galvan. Absolutely, that's a tough guy to shut down, and right now the Bengals seem to have made a conscious effort to be aware, of, the Cornell has made a conscious effort to be aware of where he is at all times. Han carrying the puck in, the big defenseman looking for a pass. Steven Pernetta on his point, gets a shot to the net. Wow. Not, had to be steered away there by Alexi Rogotkin. Krabsy sending the puck down low, taking off his stick. Krabsy looking, looking to slow the breakout, does a really nice job on Bradley Wang, giving him just enough of the business where he can't get a clean breakout. Hahn and Jankowski in pursuit down low. In front here, and the Bengals again looking to break out. Here comes Mike Jankowski. Jankowski looks to pass it up through to Caden Mendick. Jankowski in pursuit, gets the puck down below the line. Caden Mendick in on the forecheck. Pass ahead now to Franklin Barry. Barry sends the puck off the boards, and the breakout continues. Here comes Robert Dysart. Dysart with Bobby Staniszewski on him. Losing the puck, but the puck's on the doorstep, and here comes Ben Gallivan. Gallivan gaining the neutral zone, going one-on-one -on -one with the defenseman, drags it through and almost pulls the dirty dangle, but number 16, Whoa. Harry Akins wasn't having any of that. Harry Akins sends the puck all the way across to Franklin Barry. Barry sends it up to Alex Allen, who sends it right back up to Robert Dysart, and Cornell is breaking into the zone. Number 16, Harry Akins again, sends the puck down low. That is Robert Dysart. Locked up with the captain, Joel Lotempio, and then Bobby Staniszewski is in, in pursuit as well, along with number 11, Dennis Brown. Puck not moving along the boards right now as it's stale between four sticks and eight, and eight skates. <laughs> puck squirts on. The Bengals looking to cause a breakout, but a good pinch here by the Cornell defense. Keeps the puck down low and below the goal line. Mitch Thornton looking for the breakout pass. Pass is knocked back in. Gosen in pursuit. Puck kept in again by Harry Akins. He's had an incredible shift right now. He is all over the ice. 
Newman sends the puck up for Gosen. Gosen ducks back into his own end and sends it back. Two Cornell big red forwards in on the forecheck. Latempio trying to get it out. It's kept in by Cornell on the, on the near wall. Number 24, Franklin Berry sends the puck in deep. And again, Cornell is sending three in on the forecheck. And, Buff and Buffalo State just cannot nice. get out of their own way right now. Here comes Max Miller. Miller looking to skate through the neutral zone. Gains the line. Chips the puck in deep for the Cornell Big Red. Bobby Staniszewski in pursuit for Buff State. Buff St Staniszewski sends it back to Joel Latempio. Latempio with pressure on him. Looks to get it out. They're going to get it out. And here come the Bengals. Oh, big, big defense shoulder. here. Wow. Great shoulder there by number 23, Sean Benko, to rub out any chance of transition offense. Here's oh, Cole Newman move. with some speed. Newman walks in, puts a shot on goal, handcuffs the goaltender right there, and the Bengals will get an offensive zone faceoff. Really good to see the defenseman Cole Newman jumping into the game. He had a bit of a rough outing yesterday. Nice to see him involved in the offense to start. Gets a shot to the net, and the Bengals get an offensive zone faceoff with a chance to reset. Yeah, I'm surprised head coaches of Cornell didn't mention how strong Cornell's forecheck is. Tonight, it's been unreal, shutting down the Bengals' defensive core, and I'd love to see the offensive zone possession for the Cornell tonight. Faceoff between Elliott Hunt and Ben Ben Nepper. And it's front Hunt again. Oh, Great wow. post held there by Alexi Rogotkin. He is a strong goaltender. That's a missed opportunity for forward Alex, uh, Elliott Hunt. Max Weinstein shoots. Rebound Whoa. in front, and it's tapped in there by Ben Nepper. That is exactly how you run that play. You skate down the wing, shoot for the far pad, and Nepper with his head down to the crease. Fundamental hockey. You got to love it. Taps it into the open net, and Cornell jumps ahead to a 2-0 lead. Just a hair short of halfway through the first period. Yeah, heads up play by Cornell. Vision is right there. If you're not looking up on the ice, you got to see that rebound. That rebound's there. It's a golden puck. Wide open lane, empty netter. Yep, Cornell so far has done a really good job of using speed and precision in conjunction with each other. The passing is crisp. The skating is fast. The puck is going to where it needs to be. And everybody in a white and red uniform is responsible for their own area, and they have been, done a great job of locking it up on offense and defense. And Cornell's not the team to let up on goal scoring, so the Bengals have to stay in this game and keep playing 100%. No, Cornell's not going to feel bad for them right now. No. Cornell can score 20. They're going to score 20, as they should, and the Bengals need to get back in this game. Newman sends a saucer pass out the middle of the ice, knocked away from Mark Hager. Nobody in a black jersey near the puck, but Ryan Hahn jumps for the pinch. Ryan Hahn sends the puck over oh. to Crapsy just behind him. Crapsy. Turns and fires one down low. Hahn is pinching. He's got a back check right now. Cornell's looking to break out. Newman skating down has, has Jonah Kim on him. Newman sends the puck up to Crapsy. A little miscommunication between Hunt and Crapsy. Crapsy has oh, it, and Crapsy gets absolutely oh. buried by Tamara Rabin. Wow. wow, she threw a shoulder into the freshman and put him down. Nick Crapsy's going to be remembering that one. For Wait, she got today. a penalty. Okay, she got one. Okay, she got an interference penalty. Okay. Uh, wow. Crapsy's not going to hear the end of that one today. Yeah. Yep. Nick's going to hear about that for a while. But I don't. I'm not. I. I mean, that was a beautiful hit. I don't care who threw it. I mean, that was. No. I mean, it was a penalty. But man. I mean, they say in football you got to get hit to get into the game. Maybe Crapsy's going to come out and score three today now. Maybe. Oh. Bengals got an opportunity right here on the power play, um, and their power play can be can be deadly when it's working. And here comes Ben Gallivan. Gallivan drops the puck back to the big defenseman Ryan Hahn. Hahn sends one over to Gallivan. He cannot handle the saucer pass. That's not what you, you cannot afford that right now on your own end. Hahn has a little bit of room. He's going to skate it in. Hahn looking to get on his forehand. Gets wide of the defenseman looking to carry. Hahn again takes a hit there from Franklin Barry and dislodges the puck. There's another shot on goal there by Ben Gallivan. Well, not on goal, but on. Again, the Bengals only have two guys in the offensive zone right now in the power play. That's not going to get it done. No. With players like Ryan Hahn and Ben Galvin, the Bengals, they need to work with them. These guys are fast. They're coming in the zone fast. Yeah. If you're skating through the neutral zone, you're not going to be there. There's nothing going to formulate. There's no, nothing that's going to soon as that puck, And as soon as the handle on the puck isn't clean, you have two Cornell Big Red right on top oh, of them. Oh, yeah. They're going to be right on you. Here comes Gallivan. Sends the puck over to the captain, Latempio. Latempio gains the line. Sends one over to Gallivan. Gallivan, from a tough angle, sends one on net. Rebound in front, but nobody was home to tap it in. Here comes a foot race between Elliott Hunt and Luke Krastios. Hunt wins the race, stops, sends it up the half wall. Puck sent up here through the Bengals. Here comes Joe Latempio. Sends the puck over to Gallivan. He's got Luke Stoltz trailing. Oh, Gallivan forgets the puck on his dangle, sends the puck down low. Max Miller with a good poke check right there. Latempio sends it up the wall here to the point man. Here is Mitch Thornton. Thornton holding the puck. 
Another low shot. The Bengals got to start cycling right now. They're getting one and done. Oh Here's boy. a breakaway for Matthew Weinstein. Weinstein in, shoots. A.J. White makes a huge save. Great save, A.J. Thornton has has some help. Here's Newman, sends it up to Luke Stotes. Stotes, nice move, out, nice move, good recovery. Mendick turns and fires. Oh, wow. Big save there by Alexi. Big wow. save there by the goaltender, and then somehow he's able to knock the puck into the air with his blocker and glove it. So Alexi Rogotkin tested hard for the first time in this game with a really good rush by the Bengals and then some chances on the crease. And yeah. the Lincoln, Massachusetts native on his toes to start this game. Another great save to keep it 2-0 Cornell. I think that was three straight sa three straight saves for Alexi. He popped up, pad, then shoulder, then got it with the glove. Great play by him. Oh, and Mitch Thornton went to leave the zone early and wasn't able to keep it in, but you were being, co you were being conscious of the home run pass. Cornell's penalty is over, and we are playing five-on-five five once again. And here comes Sean Benko. Benko looks to send it oh. in front, and it tips just wide of A.J. White's glove hand. The Bengals got a lock off. Another that big hand. hit there by Anthony Lopardo. That time he put down Caden Mendick. Number 28, Bradley Wang turning around, looking for an outlet pass. Wang steps on the brakes. Very ill-advised pass. Here, we, here come the Bengals, and Hager doesn't get a shot to the net. But again, good forecheck by this line. The Buffalo yeah. Explorer line from high school. Hager and Krabsy. Here's a shot here from the Bengals. Oh. Another good save there by Alexi uh, Rogotkin. Cornell looking to start a breakout here. Julian Bament set, avoids the hip check from Newman and carries on but loses the puck in the corner. Bement again hit, gets hit from behind by Newman and a bad penalty by Cole Newman. And he's arguing for some reason. But anyway, a, a, an undisciplined penalty by number 29 in black is going to cause a Cornell power play. And as we mentioned in pregame, this is a team you need to evo avoid penalties yeah. on at all costs. Undisciplined penalties, unwise penalties, mental mistakes like that. With Nothing good's coming out of that. A team with 20 goals on their power play, they're going to pick you apart. And I was just going to say earlier how, uh, sorry, Mark Hager is going to take a page out of Tamara Bo Rabin's book and perfect screen out in front of uh, Alexi. But this power play, it's, it's nasty. Puck held in there by Cornell. This is Dennis Brown holding the puck to the point. Sends the puck over to Joey Padmanabon. Padmanabon sends it back over to sends it back over to Max Miller. Padmanabon straddling the line on the point goes down low. Sends the puck up to the point to Grayson Shaw. Grayson Shaw sends it over to Matt to Dennis Brown. Brown sends a high shot around. Padmanabon's oh, pinch play. doesn't work. Here comes Luke Stotes. He's got a defender in pursuit. Stokes getting wide. One hand on the stick. Oh. Great defense by number 21, Grayson Shaw. Great job by Luke Stokes to get a shot out. And again, Alexi Rogotkin with another very strong, very poised save. He has been outstanding to start this game. The Bengals have tested him. The Cornell is not running away with this game at all. But yeah. the Big Red have a goaltender that brought his game today, so that just can makes it that much harder for the Bengals. Yeah, Grayson Shaw with the speed coming up against Luke Stotes, who easily had a couple feet on him, and he met up with him and made the play. Alex Allen sends the puck in where it's met by a Bengal, sent back out, but then kicked back in by Cornell. Cornell, a little, uh, little pinball being played in the neutral zone. Puck sent back to number three, Julian Bement. Bement, oh, no, boy. there's a bounce here, and here comes Max Miller. Miller from the line, beautiful pass oh. in front. But it just couldn't get through that last pair of legs. What a sauce. Whew. That would have been hot if he would have tapped that in. Yeah. That would have been nice. Puck sits in the Whoa. slot. Nobody home. And A.J. White on his toes makes the butterfly pad save. Bagels are getting so unlucky with these bouncing rebounds. Yep. Well, that's part of the game. Gallivan's yep. looking to get a step here. Gallivan beats his man to the puck. Gallivan and in alone. Gallivan back in. Oh. Huge save by what Alexi save, Rogotkin. Alexi. Alexi Rogotkin's been the best player on the ice for either team so far. Here comes Elliott Hunt with some pressure. Three, Cornell Big Red on him, and he draws a penalty, and there is the effort penalties. Wow. All of us and all of these teams have seen from Elliott Hunt. the skating in the effort, drawing penalties, and a great rush there by Ben Gallivan. The first legitimately big-time high-danger scoring chance for the Bengals, and a very uncharacteristic, I won't call it a mistake, but Cornell defensemen don't get beat like that very often. No. That time they did, and Rogotkin standing tall again, making another huge save for the Big Red. Yeah, earlier in this game, we saw the Bengals on a power play, and they, they just got to step it up from that. They got to stay in the offensive zone. They have the extra man advantage. So if they take advantage of that extra man advantage, we, we got to see a tally here for the Bengals. If nothing else, you got to see a good power play, and it would exactly. really help if – oh, wait, no, it's four on four, so they're not on the power oh, play just yet. excuse me, 20 – Thornton oh. shot on goal glove there by Alexi yeah. Rogotkin. They're so on the, the power play now. There's about two seconds left on the uh, 
Bengals uh, power, power uh, penalty kill. Yep, for Newman, Newman went to jump into the power play, but was quickly pulled off the ice there by Coach Tim Turner as he's going to get his top guys out there. The Bengals will send out the captain, Joe Latempio, with Elliot Hunt, Luke Stotes, Ben Gallivan, and Ryan Hahn, whereas Cornell will have Luke Crastio, uh, Luke um, Kratzios, along with Harry Akins, Franklin Berry, and Matthew Weinstein to kill this penalty. Hahn picks up the puck, eats, um, eats an edge in the corner, yeah. picks up the puck again, gets the puck up to Gallivan. Gallivan. Sends it up here to Gallivan's got it now. Gallivan over to Stoltz. Stoltz takes a huge hit, but sent but gets the puck in deep. Latempio picks up the puck in the corner, kicks it up to Gallivan. Gallivan looking in front of the net, block. Great defensive play there by Harry Akins. Akins again. Gallivan on the pinch. Hunt not able to keep the puck in down low, and it's sent down the ice by the Big Red. There might be of a home ice advantage. These uh, Big Red Cornell, they're used to this ice, and I think that's counting three Buffalo State Bengals players who have uh, tripped on the ice now. That's well, that's part of it. Here come the Bengals again. Stokes oh, a shot save. and a really, really good leg push over there by Alexi Rogotkin to make the save. So a lot. Bengals look, seem to have been finding their footing just a little bit. Um, you know, getting some scoring chances, and, you know, this power play seems to be working. And now the Bengals are going to send out Crapsy, Mendick, Jankowski, Thornton, and Newman. And they will go up against Ben Nepper, the most recent goal scorer, along with Benko. Big save wow. there by Rogakin again, kicked out and He's sent down the ice. He there. is... Yeah, but Alexi Rogakin, I did get a chance to talk to him before the game. He was listening to his music, going through his routine. <laughs> Doing goalie stuff, and when you see that, oh, you know yeah. that you know he's going to be locked in. Here comes Crapsy looking for a pass. Crapsy down low, gets the puck taken off his stick there by Max Miller. Miller sends it up, kept in there by Newman. Newman flips it in down low, where it's picked up there by Joey Padmanaban. Puck kept in there by Thornton. Thornton takes a shot just wide of the net. Caden Mendick looking to pick up the puck on the wall. Mendick holding the puck there, not a whole lot of pressure for him. Sends the puck down low for Jankowski. Jankowski, oh, nice wow. move down low. Puck Ooh. gets in front. Mendick in pursuit. And it jumps just over the stick of Cole Newman. And Mitch Thornton, great pursuit in re to recover. But here comes Joey Padmanaban. He's got some speed. And he's going to look to kill the rest of his penalty by himself. Padmanaban skating down low. Sends the puck up. That is Max Miller. Miller, Dan Cornell doing the smart thing. They are reversing. And they are going to ice the rest of this power play. Good power play by the Bengals, but Cornell did exactly what they needed to do, and now yeah. we are back to even strength. Puck sent up high by Cornell, sent through the zone. Here comes Bradley Wang. Wang sends the puck in deep. Cole Newman in pursuit. Newman looking to wrap it around the boards into Gosen. Gosen can't handle the puck. It's moving a little too hot, and the Big Red continue to handle possession. Mitch Thornton in behind his own net, wraps it around behind the goal. Newman sends it back to Thornton, where Thornton sends it out to Luke Stotes. Here comes Luke Stotes carrying the puck in. Nice move there by Stotes again. Stotes going one on four, looking for a teammate. Drops it back, and he did not have a trailer. There was a Cornell defender behind him. Here comes Dennis Brown. He Ooh, just gets tripped, and yep, trip. that's a trip. Absolutely. Yeah. Effort, effort penalty by Elliott Hunt as Dennis Brown had some speed. That's unfortunate, but again, this lethal Cornell power play is going to get a chance again. As with just 146 left in the period, um, shots are 11 to 11. Yeah. But uh, Cornell's going to get a chance, and, John, we talk about this ad nauseum. Uh, the uh, witching hour, we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're under that two minutes with a one minute 46 left. But uh, speaking of that insane power play that the Cornell Big Red have, their penalty kill meets the same standards. They've shut down the Bengals twice now, and if the Bengals want to stay in this game, they got to find a way to use that one-man advantage. It starts with one. It starts with just one. Down by two. Padmanabon at the point, holding the puck in at the blue line. Padmanabon sends the puck over to the far wing. Sent in down low by Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown gets the puck back again. Brown up to Pad Monobon looking for a shot. Nothing there. What a setup. Puck wow. sent across. Cross all the way over to Dennis Brown. Sends it back to Pad Monobon. Back to Brown. They are playing catch with it with no resistance whatsoever. Nope. There we go again. Pad Monobon threw a oh, screen, screen. And Alex Allen got his stick on it. He was uncontested in front of the net and tipped it just wide. Here is Ben Nepper holding the puck here. Oh, and... A, and just handcuffed himself right there, the Cornell forward. That was number 21, Grayson Shaw. The captain, Padmanaban, holding the puck here, using his edges, sending the puck up ahead here to Dennis Brown. Brown up to Padmanaban, looking for a breakup. The Bengals doing a great job clogging the neutral zone. Here comes Dennis Brown. Brown with the drop pass to Allen. Allen dropping the puck back here to Robert Dysart. Dysart sends it in deep with a Bengal in pursuit on him on Stephen Prenetta. Allen 
Low oh. shot in front, good rebound, great play there, good save by A.J. White. Miller sends the puck down low, on net again, here is Ryan, here is Robert Dysart. Dysart in front, mad scramble, A.J. White's on top of it, where is it? Whistle blows, oh that yep, we're good. Stay cool, There's stay a face cool. wash, yeah. no, they're not gonna call anything here. No. No harm, no foul, hard, physical, I, I aggressive power play. Uh, Cornell, I can't see his number from here, but uh, he, he got taken to the ground and he hit his head. So that's our, I mean, yeah. that, that that's the price you pay going to the crease, no problem with yep. it at all. And I guarantee you, wait, oh, they got them both, okay. Oh, wow. I mean, that's Alex Allen. Yep, in a scrum like that, you're going to get them both. And the thing is, I, though, no disrespect to Alex Allen, but if you're Cornell, you're going to take that trade for Ben Gallivan all day. And I was day. just going to say how Alex Allen, he has eight, goal, uh, eight goals and six assists on the season, and – being that bothersome man in the crease out front of A.J. White so right I, now. I take back what I said. That's a wash. Um, yeah. Two very high-powered forwards. Okay, so both teams are going to be without a leading scorer uh, for the rest of this period and then for the very beginning of the second. But right now, Buffalo State, they are nowhere near out of the woods yet. They can't even see the light. They do have to um, deal with, Corn with the Cornell power play for another 26 seconds. Sean Benko leaning in to take the faceoff against Jolo Tempio. He wins it. Puck held in there by Cornell. Cornell with um, Julia with a Julian Bement. Holding the puck in is Cornell. That is ta that is Tamara Rabin sending the puck in on net again. Steven Pernetta doing a really nice job fishing the puck out and contributing to a clear with Caden Mendick. Five seconds left. Cornell looking. Are they going to send the length of the ice? Uh, no. There was an idea. Wasn't thought out. And we're going to end the period. Cornell jumps out to an early 2 to nothing lead. Uh, Bengals, you know, push back a little bit, but cannot solve the goaltender, Alexi Rogotkin. Uh, John, quick thoughts on the period before we head to intermission. Yeah, well, usually you can't see much from the first period, and you slowly start to see a team formula in the second period. But, man, these Cornell Big Red, you see the speed, you see the transition, and you see their big defensive plays. So with locking down the Buffalo St. Bengals right now, Cornell's got that 2-0 lead, but the Bengals got to take advantage of it. I, I keep saying it. When they're on the power play, they got to take advantage of it because it's not going to come easy for them. No, it's not going to get any easier for the Bengals as we head into the second period, but um, there's a lot to build on, a lot you got to like with how they finish that period um, on the power play and even so far killing this penalty. So before we head to intermission, uh, we just want to point out our sponsors as our UNYCHL broadcast today is brought to you by Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy in Kenmore for over 60 years. By Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker. By Pool Mart, for any pool, hot tub, or patio need, Pool Mart is your fun store. By 412 Communications, the new gold standard for small business digital media solutions. By Envious Gameware, designers of high-end custom uniforms, bags, and apparel. Um, if, you need, if you need uniforms and want to look like the best team in the league, contact EnviousGameware.com. And for Colvin Cleaners, for dry cleaning, wash and, wash and fold, tailoring and more, Colvin Cleaners is who, the, is who the UNYCHL and hockey teams around the area will trust to keep their uniforms looking fresh. That's going to do it for the first period for us um, from the rink at Ithaca with um, the Cornell Big Red leading Cornell Big Red leading the Buffalo State Bengals 2 to nothing. We'll be back after this.
Our coverage this weekend in Ithaca is made possible by the Hampton Inn Ithaca. Whether you're traveling through the area visiting kids at college or in town for business, the Hampton Inn Ithaca is the smart choice for your stay. Free Wi-Fi and a daily breakfast are included, plus access to the pool, gym, and business center. Enjoy all the wonders of the Ithaca and Finger Lakes areas and leave the rest to the staff at the Hampton Inn. 337 Elmira Road, not far from downtown or the Cornell campus. 607-277-5500. Sponsored by Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy in Kenmore for over 60 years. By Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker. And by Poolmart, for any pool, hot tub, or patio need, Poolmart is your fun store. By 412 Communications, the new gold standard for small business digital media solutions. By Envious Gameware, designers of high-end custom hockey uniforms, bags, and apparel. And by Colvin Cleaners, for dry cleaning, wash and fold, tailoring, and more. Colvin Cleaners is through the league trusts to keep their uniforms the sharpest in the business. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Our coverage this weekend in Ithaca, made possible by the Hampton Inn Ithaca. Whether you're traveling through the area, visiting kids at college, or in town on business, the Hampton Inn Ithaca is the smart choice for your stay. Free Wi-Fi and a daily breakfast are included, plus access to the pool, gym, and business center. Enjoy all the wonders of Ithaca and the Finger Lakes area, and leave the rest to the staff at the Hampton Inn. 337 Elmira Road, not far from downtown Ithaca or the Cornell campus, 607-277-5500.
Welcome back to the rink at Ithaca when we are just about set for second period play between the Buffalo State Bengals and the Cornell Big Red. Our score after one is Cornell two, Buffalo State nothing. Hello again, I am Sean McHugh alongside John Dwyer. Happy to bring you the call of this afternoon's game. And before we get started, we would like to send a special thanks to the Hampton Inn in Ithaca for making our coverage this weekend possible, located on Elmira Road, close to both downtown and the Cornell campus. Book your next stay at the Hampton Inn Ithaca, the smart hotel choice, whether you're traveling through the area, visiting kids at college, or here for business. And before we get started, we would like to just acknowledge um, we would just like to acknowledge that um, Buffalo State had a um, rough start to the period, but they yeah. came back a little bit. They just ran into a hot goaltender. Um, I, I like a lot of what I saw from them. What do you think, John? I don't even know if hot's the word to describe uh, Alexi Rogakin. He's been playing out of his mind. Brick wall. And it's the Bengals have just they've gotten past their usual uh, problems that Tim Turner spoke about earlier this week. And their defense looks all right. Their transition looks better. And they just need to get past that goalie uh, goaltender situation right now. Yeah, the problem is that's a lot easier said than done. But it's hockey, baby, and that's what we're looking for. We are going to start the second period two on two with Buffalo with Buff State attacking left to right, with Cornell attacking right to left. The Bengals will send out Luke Stotes. Alex Gosin, Bobby Staniszewski, and Mitch Thornton. And the Cornell Big Red will counter with Dennis Brown, Grayson Shaw, Robert Dysert, and Joey Padmanaban. And here come the Big Red carrying the puck in over the line. Wow, great move. Look at the speed here. Matt Dennis Brown again, been all over the ice, takes a hit from Thornton. Puck down low here, held by Hunt. Sent up by Bobby Staniszewski. Big here, big pinch here by Cornell, looking to gain down the goal line. Puck by cool Dysart, sent across. Cool. Nobody on the back door. Good look, though. Gosen with a four-checker. Grayson Shaw right in his pocket, tied up on the boards. Now here, come the, here comes the Cavalry. Puck tied up on the boards, held in right there by Dennis. Right in there by Max Miller. Miller sends the puck in. Great play by Elliott Hunt. Stotes sends a pass up to Gosen. Oh. Cannot handle the pass. It is in his feet. Pod Mountabon was so close to getting that puck right there and delaying that far pass, but unfortunately it was right off the stick for the Bengals. Here come the big red again. Here is Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown drop wow. pass. Big save by A.J. White. What a slapper. Joey oh. Padmanaban catches that in his wheelhouse and lets a low shot rip. A.J. White gets his pad on it, but then as we've seen over the years with A.J. White, yeah. rebound control is something he's exceptional at, and no. he wants that one back after the goal he allowed. Yeah, mind you folks, this is the second period. It's going to be a long change for the Bengals and the big red, so Bengals have struggled out in the past. Big Red, they're, they're, they're a quick transitional team, so they're going to be fast at it anyways. Quick shot from the Big Red, kept in there by number 24, Franklin Berry. Puck sent out by, Mend by Mendick. Mendick with – Mendick sends the puck up, sent back in by the Cornell Big Red. Picked up there by Newman, sends a pass up. Little, contest little bit of contestant there by Aaron Johnson, sent up again. Kept in by Cornell. Newman, good pinch on the wall to keep the puck up high. Aaron Johnson joins in the battle. Crapsy laying the body to dislodge the puck, and the Bengals will get possession. Caden Mendick will send it out to center ice, where it's sent right back in by Cornell. This feels a lot like the way the first period started, John. Yeah. Cornell just sending the puck in and out of the zone, and that's not going to work at all as well. Here comes the big red. Ryan Hahn jumps at it. Here come the Bengals. They have numbers if they go. Ryan Hahn with Mendick and Aaron Johnson. Puck slapped right off of him. Crapsy is the only man back. Oh. He's a forward. Here come the Big Red. Newman harassing the man from behind. That's Julian Bament. Looking to tighten up the line. Sends it. It gets through everybody. Here comes Cole Newman down in the, in the near corner right below our broadcast position. Newman again. Really nice play just to get that puck out of harm's way and reset. Crapsy is at the very end of his shift right now. He's pushing about two minutes right now, and he can't get to the bench. Crapsy again holds it. Sends it up to center ice. Picked off there by the Big Red. Bement holding the puck in, gets by a four-checker, oh, Jankowski. No. Here comes Bement again. Bement, oh, nice defense by play. Newman again. Keldon at the line again. Newman's got the puck looking for speed. He had Latempio and didn't see him. Puck sent up the middle, and just like that, Mayfield looking to get it deep just out of his reach, and Cornell will recycle and turn around. Here's Grayson Shaw. Shaw sending the puck up to Cornell through to center ice where it's picked up there by Mitch Thornton. Thornton sends the puck in deep, icing waved off. Latempio in pursuit on Anthony Lopardo. Puck sent around there to Julian Bement. Bement with a man right in his back pocket. Joel Latempio still 
you know, little bit of like shoving puck into center ice. Thornton sends one in on goal. Easiest save that the goaltender Rogotkins had to make all make all night. Yeah, mind you, folks. Robert, uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, Dennis Brown and no, nope, pardon, Alex Allen. Alex Allen and Ben Galvin are both in the box right now. So both leading goal scorers for the teams are still in the box. Goshen with a nice move to create a shot for him, but really good recovery by ben, by Bradley Wang to prevent a dangerous scoring chance from coming of that. Puck held in there by the Bengals. Nice defensive play there by Bobby Staniszewski. Not this time there, Staniszewski in pursuit right now. He's got one Cornell forward in pursuit. That is Grayson Shaw. Staniszewski with Grayson Shaw right on top of him. Sends it to Thornton. Thornton looking to reverse. Runs into the official. He has Tamara Rabin. She has been an absolute animal tonight. Yeah. Absolutely just making the lives of the Bengals miserable with her speed and her tenacity. Yeah, her Even speed, when she took a penalty, it was a great looking play, I yeah. thought. She's, she's skating with the ranks right now. She is... Could be one of the fastest skaters on Big Red right she's now. The, she's, one of, she's the most powerful skater I've seen in the game so far. When she gets going, I, I don't care how tall she is. I don't care how much she weighs. I am not getting in front of that train. She will knock my 6'5 frame <laughs> down. Here comes Elliott Hunt with a shot. Blocked there by number 10, Max Miller. And we're going to get a whistle and an offensive zone faceoff coming up to the right of the goaltender, Alexei Rogotkin, and Allen and Gallivan return to the ice, and we will play five-on-five five for now. Yeah, we're going to see some uh, sh more, some more shots on right now with uh, Gallivan and Allen back on the ice. Um, I'm looking to see more action from Matthew Weinstein. He uh, holds three goals and five assists on the season, so look for more from him. Absolutely. This Cornell roster, top to bottom, has talent and really good hockey players. Any one of them can come out and beat you at any time. Cornell's got two forwards in on the puck before any Buff State defenseman get back there, oh. and the pressure continues. Puck held in here by Harry Aikens. Aikens down below the goal line, sends the puck over to Dennis Brown. Brown reversing the puck down, down low. Ryan Hahn dealing with Aikens. Oh. Big hit there, two big bodies <laughs> crashing to the ice. That's what you like to see, the two big physical defensemen colliding with each other. Which one moves, they both go down. Here comes Mark Hager. Gaining center ice, sends oh. it, sh oh wow! Tornado right there, wow. Shoulders off, a check there by number 16, that was Harry Akins. He doesn't care today, he's just knocking anybody that's not in a white jersey down. Here comes Allen, sends the puck up here to Robert Dysart. Dysart getting the puck in deep, squeezed out there by Ryan Hahn. Hahn takes Whoa. a hit from Alex Allen, no, oh. no issue there. Hager in pursuit, he has room. That was a really, really good fake right there by number 28, Bradley Wang. He went at Hager to make him think he was closing in, peeled off him as he went to clear it, and he was in great position right there. That is some of the coaching we talked about with Cornell. They play the game fast. They play it with skill. But one thing they seem to be doing better than just about everybody is they're playing it with their minds at an elite level. Yeah, Sean, too many times this afternoon, the Bengals have been leaving that back door open for Cornell. Of all the and, things to leave open, that's not it. And Cornell, they're going to take advantage of that. They're going to shoot on A.J. White every single time they get that back door open. And don't think for a second that just because the record isn't great that people just seem to forgot what A.J. White is capable of. So they're not going to go easy on him, nor no. are they going to disrespect him and not try to pick him apart because he is capable of stopping every shot you throw at him. Yeah, one of A.J. White's previous games, he made 47 saves in the loss. I mean, that's, that's goaltending right there. Yep. Here, come, here comes Cornell. A little bit of traffic jam in front. Puck shot wide. Nobody in black was communicating, and Cornell gets an easy pickup right here. Here is Luke Kratzios. Picked up here by Mike Jankowski. Jankowski gets to center ice, and not much further than that as Cornell picks it up again. Zach Wiener sends the puck up here. We, here. Cornell again sends the puck down low. Little behind Luke Kratzios, and it's sent back by Buffalo State. Staniszewski, wrist shot from the blue line on goal. No difficulty there, but Buffalo State will take the offensive zone faceoff coming to the left of the goaltender, Alexi Rogotkin. Yeah, Zach Wiener playing a great job, staying low with the puck, putting his body in front of it, negating that shot for the Bengals right there. Faceoff will come to the left of Rogotkin. Elliot Hunt will take the faceoff. Bobby Staniszewski retreating to his blue line, trying to keep it in. Picked up there by Cornell. Oh. There's that home ice advantage taking out one of their own right now. Oh, they give it then to take the lead. Elliot Hunt, nice move oh. to create some space. And again, Rogotkin, Rogatkin. post to post in his butterfly. Nothing to shoot at. Cole Newman in pursuit. He's got three big red on him. Staniszewski picks up the puck, sends it up, and here comes Luke Stotes. Luke Stotes on his forehand. Shrugs off a hit. Can he shrug off two? Yes, he can, but the puck comes loose. Here comes Cornell again, sending the puck up through the neutral zone. Here we go. 
Max Miller gaining the line. Shot on A.J. White, swallowed in the butterfly. No rebound, and we will get a faceoff coming up in the Buffalo State defensive zone. Yeah, it looks like Cole Newman's playing defense right now, usually a forward. He's on back with uh, Bobby Staniszewski there. Yeah, they need Cole on defense right now because of numbers because we still don't have Adam Brennan back. No. Uh, so we got to have Newman playing on the back end today to have six. And also Ryan Dene is not in the lineup as well, so they're down anyway. So, yeah, it's really yeah. kind of a matter of necessity where, our, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice the offensive ability for Cole Newman for some defense and maybe try to get him to pinch. Yeah, two of the Bengals' fastest skater, Brett Sardina and Ryan Dene, are not in the lineup tonight. Yep, and speed is a tough thing to lose against this Cornell team. Yep. Picked up down low here. Here comes Cornell again. Dicer looking around, Ooh. looking for the wraparound. Oh, sends it in front. Again. Nobody there. And again, wow. that pass got there again. And that center, Nick Krabs, he wasn't there, nor was the defenseman. Sooner than later, the Cornell Big Red, they're going to find out that that back door is open every they're single going time. To, they're going to it every time, as you should. That's that's where you have the highest percentage chance to score from right there. Oh, Big save, save by A.J. White. Caden Mendick with Mark Hager coming out in the rush. And there's that big mobile core by the Cornell defense. Coming up, Bengals looked like they had a breakaway, but the speed there. Took it away. Bengals again looking to maintain some possession, but it's Cornell that breaks out. Here comes Dysert, sends the puck up to Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown sends a cross-ice pass wow. held in there by Ped Mondebound. Shot blocked by Ryan Hahn. He's got a lane. Ryan Hahn, the big defenseman, he can skate, but he's at the end of his shift. He's just going to get the puck in deep, and then he's going to pursue on the forecheck. We've got the center, Nick Crapsey, back in his place, playing defense right here on Robert Dysart. Big hit there, laid there by Jankowski on Pat Manabon, shakes it right off, sends it back to his point. Here comes Cornell. Here's a shot oh. for the blocker, Jankowski in oh, front of his own. Dangerous. Wow. wow. That, 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 yep, that's, that's a good dangerous. play because of the result, but don't, off the Ooh. bar. That was ripped by Harry Akins. He's been outstanding for the big red. That thing was whistling wow. and just caught the bar. It's one of those things where you see from a goalie where they stay in the same position, they think it's in. They, there's nothing you can do, but that uh, goalie, A.J. White for the Bengals, he's going to be kissing that bar later. Sure is. Tamara Rabin sends the puck up too far for everybody. Mitch Thornton will turn around, and it icing is waved off. Joel Latempio in the corner. Too big red on him, and he's looking to shake him off. Puck taken off his stick down in the corner. Sent over to Franklin Barry. Puck sent oh, up to Gav. Oh, he's gone stick. if that gets to him. Great defense there. That was number five, Derek Zhang. We have not say, said his name much at all today, but the first time we do, he makes a great play. A little bit of a uh, little congestion in the neutral zone right here. Gosen sends the puck in down low where Franklin Berry will turn to pick up the puck. Luke Kratzios um, runs into a Buff State defender at the blue line and does not get any further than the neutral zone. Puck sent in where Bobby Staniszewski will pick up the puck. Cornell again sending two forwards in on the forecheck, causing a mistake. This might work here for the Bengals. Here comes Ben Gallivan. Gallivan, drag through, can't get the puck up high. Looks to spin it down low, and there's nobody with him. He's looking for the pass in front. Yeah. Here comes Cornell looking to skate down the wing. Picked up there by Bobby Staniszewski. Goes D to D to Cole Newman. Newman sends a breakout oh. pass to Hunt that he just can't handle right away. That was a good-looking tic-tac-toe play. Don't get away from that if you're the Bengals. Newman in the neutral zone. Sends a saucer pass across, looking for a stretch play to Elliott Hunt, and the Cornell Big Red look to answer. Hunt picks up the puck off the neutral zone turnover, sends the puck up to Alex Gosen. Gosen gains the blue line, tries the toe drag, forgets the puck, gets it back though as he recovers. Puck held in by the corner by the Bengals. Gosen looking to circle his field, sends it back. Elliott Hunt holding the puck down low, sends the puck back over to Gosen. Gosen with the Cornell Big Red defender in his pocket, cannot get free of him, and the Big oh Red boy. will skate the puck out. They have numbers. Great defensive play there by Cole Newman as he knocks the puck out of the air on the attempted breakout pass. The Bengals have to be careful. The change is coming behind them and the breakout pass is there. Puck sent up right here to Sean Banco. Banco sends an over the line. Another oh, blocker saved there by AJ White. White. Aaron Johnson looking to clear the puck out. Gets no further than the blue line and number 23, Sean Banco picks up the puck again. Oh. Banco in front, and it's got, it hit something wow. in front of the net before getting to A.J. White. Newman. That was, that was Bengals captain Dolo Tempio put his body right in front of it. That saved something there. Definitely did. D to D pass to, D to, D pass to Joey Padmanabon. Padmanabon gets the puck, sends it across over to his partner, Max Miller. Miller sends it up to Padmanabon. He's got space. Padmanabon one-on-one -on -one with Newman. A what what a move. move. Padmanabon wow. walks the defender, Newman. And A.J. White gets on the post and makes a great save. Yeah, Joey Padmanabon, captain, he wants that back. Yeah. That move, you want to finish right Pad there. Padmanabon had Cole Newman Ooh. on a poster right there, and A.J. White bailed him out with a great save. 
So yeah. AJ White has brought it today. The goaltender showed up today, definitely. I, I want to show praise for the Cornell Big Red. They their passing ability, stick to stick, tape to tape. It's been unreal tonight. Yep, that's yep. You can tell they practiced that ad nauseum. Yeah. Mark Hager with Pad Monobon and another four checker on him. Puck sent down low below the Buffalo State goal line. Ryan Hahn picks up the puck, sends it to Steven Pernetta. Pernetta tips the puck up to Hager. Hager gets it past Joey Pad Monobon, who's looking for a change, but needs to make sure the Cor Cornell can get the puck out. Steven Pernetta having a little trouble finding the puck, but he has no pressure on him, is able to get the puck up to Mark Hager. Pernetta again. One thing Pernetta is known for, he's always in the right place. Yeah. The, the kid's hockey IQ will never be questioned. <laughs> well, he's got he's to play defense here. Here comes Cornell. Big save, great by, AJ save by AJ White. Great wow. back check by Ryan cool. Hahn. That was Dennis Brown, who's oh. been notable. Here comes Nick Crapsey. Speed. Crapsey gaining the blue line, walks in, takes a shot. Almost gets it on oh. net there. Great rush there by the, by the freshman Nick Crapsey, the roller hockey standout from Western New York roller hockey. Oh, Great carry in there by White. Cornell. A.J. White keeping the post, the post, but there's way too much room there for Cornell around the net. Oh. Bengals got to clear that out, and okay, Han's going to clear the net, and it's Allen again right in the middle of all of it. He is a pest. He yeah. is a scorer. He's an antagonist. He's a tough player. He wears Matthew Kachuk's number, and I think I understand why. <laughs> yeah, if it's Alex, not because of Kachuk, it should be. Alec, junior Alex Allen. He he plays he plays gritty. He it doesn't matter if it's a clean goal with a bunch of stick handling, toe drag dangles. No no, he's gonna be in the crease. He's gonna be getting those dirty goals and tip in goals, assists. It's all there. He is a player you do not want any part of playing against, but you love him if he's you on, love your him on your team. Team, yep. Yep. Respect for his game, and I, there will be mutual respect as well. Shot oh. from the point just wide of AJ White and Julian Bement holds the puck in down low. Bement, nice move, move to get around Thornton. Puck to the point. Here's the shot by Franklin Barry sent just wide. Picked up here by Jonah Kim. Oh. Kim looking to the front of the net. He's got two bangles on him. Kim goes for the toe drag and Stutz throws a shoulder into him, but does not matter. Kim is just fine right where he is. It's just sloppy defense right now for the Buff State Yeah, Bengals. they're waving their sticks right now. Here's Kim again. Whoa, the Owen Power look yep. right there. It was there. Don't be shy. Oh, Ooh. Puck's in front of the net. No one knows where it is. It's still oh. loose. I thought A.J. White had it. Luke Stutz That's again wow. fires it out. No pressure on the point, though. Great block there by Elliott Hunt. Bobby Staniszewski in pursuit here. Good defense there by Gosen. Gosen can't get the puck out. Cornell with relentless pressure. Kim to the slot. Oh. And Stutz just Jeez. goes full Tremaine Edmonds and tackles Bement. No call, though. Elliott yeah, Hunt wow. looking to get on his outside. Nothing here on Franklin Barry. Gosen. Holding the puck there, but Barry sends it up. Stutz gets a oh. oh, it was on a tee for him, and he pitched it just high. Turns and fires again, and there is Alexi Rogotkin, as we've seen all game, right on oh. top of his blue paint. It teed up his right. He had that shot right there. I thought that was going top left, but that's I, that's something Rogotkin got to protect against that those top corners because he's got it locked down. Yeah, and I think it's fair to say that AJ White has been the best Bengal so far in this game keeping his head in it and they're going to need him to do that a little for, they're going to need him to keep that going forward right now this is because easily. he is getting peppered by shots right now this is easily AJ White's best game of the season 100 for, so far yes shot on goal by the Bengals steered just wide there Newman looking to keep a pinch one on one here we go Newman playing defense right here forces the shot from the outside by Matthew Weinstein you want to hear from him there you go John yeah. that's a player that you know can impact the game immediately Newman has some room looking to make a quick pass sends it up blows it into the skates of Crestios, and but it still gets out. Puck sent in there by Cornell, picked up by Joe Latempio. Latempio sends it up the middle, not able to be handled by Gallivan, and Cornell steps in again. Gallivan looking to cause a breakout right here, but great defense by Bradley Wang. We have seen that from him a lot. He is positionally sound. He is a strong skater. He's a big body. He is very difficult to play against. Crapsy looking to make a move, oh. loses the puck, but he's got Newman who takes a slap shot for some reason and gets it to center ice. Here comes Bradley Wang, sends the puck up here, held in by held in by Cornell looking for the breakout. The breakout through center ice, coming in on net for A.J. White. White steers it to Nick Crapsey, who sends the puck up and out to center ice where Jonah Kim will pick up the puck. Picked up here by Joe Latempio. He's got Elliott Hunt walking in. Latempio walks in oh. off the bar. Great oh. looking two-on-one setup by the captain and the alternate captain, two of the founders of the program. 
Best scoring chance of the night for the Bengals, and unfortunately that doesn't even count as a shot on goal for us. So Alexi doesn't, keep, doesn't even get it for save percentage. Cool. Elliot Hunt again doing some great work down low. Hunt in front to Latempio through his legs. Gallivan, a shot into traffic, doesn't get through. Jonah Kim chips the puck out. Long high stick. Uh, there's no, okay. Um, nothing came of that, so not a big deal. And Bobby Cole Newman, excuse me, that hit, that hit a Bengals defender. They're going to wave the icing off. I think that's what they're calling. Puck sent up to Ben Gallivan. Gallivan looking to wind it up. Gallivan, nice move to get around Robert Dysart. Gallivan again on Great the move. outside. Gallivan on his backhand. Wow. But Ooh. Rogotkin was in his butterfly, and he was going to swallow everything that came down low on him. But again, the Bengals looking to shoot, and you got to shoot often on this goaltender. Yeah, Captain Lotempio for the Bengals. You, you could hear that post shot, probably in the parking lot of the uh, Hampton and Ithaca, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, he, he dung that thing off the bar pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Elliot Hunt wins the faceoff back to Ryan Hahn. Hahn, a low point shot, gets caught up in some feet of Elliot Hunt. Down low to Luke Stotes. Stotes scores! Oh, my goodness. The big forward, Luke Stotes, off the pass from Elliot Hunt off the faceoff. Picks up the puck just below the dot from a sharp angle. Roofs one right over the glove of the goaltender, Rogatkin. They finally did it, John. They solved the wow. hot goaltender. They found that uh, that glove, and usually Rogakin's glove has been impressive today. Seeing eye shot, and sneaker. I, I, I just said maybe five minutes ago how <laughs> Rogakin's got to protect those top corners, and it went over his left shoulder to the top right. Face off won by Buffalo State, and Ryan Hahn will send it in deep. Luke Stokes and Elliott Hunt in pursuit. Here comes Steven Prenetta holding the puck uh, over to Ryan Hahn. Han can't get the puck past center ice, and he has Alex Allen in his face again. That's something that I don't think he's going to end anytime soon with Alex Allen getting right in the face of a bunch of Bengals players. Yeah, like we like to say, we're, we're nearing witching hour for the Bengals. they got to shut down this Cornell powerful offense. And they've done a great job of it so far this period, but again, this is a quick strike offense. They can't lose sight of anything. Right oh. here, this is trouble. Oh Walking boy. in, backhand, and there's the great save you need save. from A.J. AJ White. White. Wow. Holy. You needed the save. You got it. You got to play defense for him. Now Han sends the puck up. Not a great pass there on his back end. Cornell keeps it in. Bengals looking to maintain defensive responsibility, protecting the front of their net right now. Puck held up to Caden Mendick, and he will get it, and he will not get it out. You got to get the puck out right yeah. there. Here comes Cornell again. Here comes Krastios on his back end oh. just wide. A.J. White lost the puck. Oh. They didn't get it. Point man, no one near him, and here comes Max Miller. Miller sends it down to Krastios. Krastios, oh, nice move. heel drag. Oh. Backhands it in front, and again, the Bengals can't gain possession. And that was, a, oh. is that a penalty? or Oh, they got them both. I thought they, okay. okay. I, I thought they were just calling that for AJ holding the puck there. They're getting Han, and they're getting Dennis Brown for some physical play. One thing I like about the officials today, they're not picking sides. No. When there's conflict, they both go. That's the end of it, yep. which is why you've seen to this point. See. And if you're listening, we're in a wooding box. I'm banging on wood. You, The game has been played very clean so far. Yeah. I, I, a thing I'd like to mention is how well the Cornell Big Red keep the puck in the offensive zone. It is very rare they let that puck cross that blue line. And usually when that happens, that's when the Bengals go on the offense, steal that puck away, and get a breakaway. Absolutely. And again, the the. Bengals cannot win the faceoff, and Cornell keeps it in. Held in there by Cornell again. Here comes Harry Aikens. Aikens looking for his point man. Blocked on its way in and picked up by Staniszewski. Staniszewski around to Newman. Newman, a blind backhand pass. Held in there by the big red again. Newman had room, and finally the Bengals get it out of the zone. But again, Franklin Barry keeps the puck, and Barry with a hard shot through a screen. And A.J. White with the quick save again through the screen shot. Another faceoff will be coming up to the left of the goaltender from Charlotte, North Carolina, A.J. White. Yeah, senior 31, Alexi Rogakin playing so well, and maybe that's what the Bengals needed. They needed to get one behind him, and maybe they're going to get in his head for the rest of this game. I mean, you got to do something here. You got to yeah. get the first one, and you got to get out of this period unscathed. You want to try to get some offense as well. There's plenty of time for you to score. Right now, the Bengals get some help from the boards, and here comes Bobby Staniszewski, two on two. Staniszewski carrying the puck in. He has Harry Akins on him. Drop pass at the blue line, doesn't get anywhere. Oh, they oh. didn't see the breakaway. Wow, that would have been that would have been game changer for the Cornell Big Red if they saw that number eight. Yeah, well, Robert, Robert Dysart, Dysart got in alone. You want you Dysart again looking for the pass. Nobody home. Gallivan's got room if he gets it out. Gallivan slams on the break, sends a D to D pass up to Cole Newman, who cannot handle the pass. And Dysart again trying to chip it through Bobby Staniszewski. Cole Newman in pursuit again. 
Sean Banco with Newman on him. Banco sends it back to Dicer. Dicer takes a shot. Hanka, whoa! Oh. Okay, that worked out, but that's dangerous. Uh, that, that actually was, was the best thing that could have happened for the Bengals. Yeah, a bit of a deer in a headlights action there, but... That also just zone. might have been a, you know what? Oh, the Bengals got caught changing, and here come numbers. Here comes Alex Allen on Fortin. Allen, power move, does whoa. not get to the net. A.J. White with the Look post but here he comes again. Here comes Cole Newman, gets by Alex Allen. Newman... Shot from the blue line, not a bad shot no. at all. Get the puck in deep right here. You want that pressure in, make a change. Where is everybody? Is this going to be icing? Yes, it is. Yeah, this has been a very fast paced game. Yeah, not I a mean, lot of icings and it's just transitions in the neutral zone and it's... Game started at 4.30, the second period is about over and it's 5.30. Yeah. Fast paced game, exciting game, lots of excitement, lots of goaltending, lots of hits. Got a little bit of everything except for the goals, but you know what? If you get chances and saves, there's not a thing wrong with that. Yeah, and we got 13 seconds left on four and four Don't action, say so. 13 seconds uh, to a Bills fan. Why does this always happen to me? I always bring a, say that number. Say and, one more uh, than 12. It's better. Yeah, I agree. Well. All right, now that we're not sad <laughs> anymore, puck chipped out and chipped in down low where Caden Mendick will pick up the puck. One minute to go in the second period. Mendick's got time, and he will carry it out, and he will get the puck up to Ryan Hahn coming fresh out of the box. That worked out beautifully if you're Buffalo State. Hahn retreats back to his deep position where Mitch Thornton will have it with some, with some back pressure behind him. Puck in the neutral zone, and here comes Elliott Hunt looking to create a shot for himself. Hunt holding the puck in. Nice little move there. Pass over to Hahn or Thornton, whoever it was. It was connected. Thornton. Looking to send a cross ice pass here to Luke Stotes. Stotes can't get it going. Thornton's got to find his man. He doesn't see him, and he recovers in time. Here comes Cornell. Picked up here by Grayson Shaw. Shaw down low. Sent in front. Blocked here. Han sends it out and head hunts the Cornell bench. Probably by accident. Definitely by accident. Bad joke. But even still, we are likely going to we are going to have an offensive zone faceoff in the Buffalo State end. With a much less sad number of 17 seconds left on the clock, Buffalo State is not out of the woods yet, but look at this. They've 17. got Elliott Hunt lined up as a wide receiver right now. Are hey. they going to try the home run beer league special? I'm, 17, I'm forward if they Josh Allen, it's good luck for the Bengals. Let's see if they can. Oh, here it goes. Oh. Elliott Hunt. Oh, look at all wow. oh, great defense right there by Harry Akins. He is a stud back there. Here comes Caden Mendick. Bengals just not able to even get a look. They, Staniszewski will chip it down low. That will take us to the end of the second period oh, where wow. the Bengals get a great period where A.J. White does a great job keeping his team in this game with his best period of the season. Bengals cut the lead in half and get it back to 2-1. to one. John, <laughs> what are your thoughts on that period? These are the Bengals of the old. This is the team that went 17-5-1 last year. They held Cornell to no goals this period, tallying one of their own. And expect some smelling salts in the Cornell locker room for this period. They're going to come out firing. The Bengals got to be ready on defense and offense. Tally one more, tie this game up, and it's, it's going to be an intense third period. Expect it to be fast, hard, gritty. You're going to see a lot from Alex Allen. He's going to be in that crease pestering A.J. White. So I expect someone like Ryan Hahn to be in there going against Alex Allen. Absolutely, and before we head to intermission, we do want to once again – um, send a special thanks to the Hampton Inn in Ithaca for making our coverage of UNYCHL hockey this weekend possible. Located on Elmira Road, close to both downtown and the Cornell campus, book your next day at the Hampton Inn in Ithaca. Whether you're traveling through the area, visiting kids at college, or here for business, visit. Uh, give them a call to book your next day at 607-277-5500. Our good friend Aaron Alpern just walks across the camera as we got a wave at him, and we are now going to head into the second intermission where the Cornell Big Red lead the Buffalo State Bengals 2-1 to one from the rink at Ithaca. We'll be back after this.
Special thanks to the Hampton Inn Ithaca for making our coverage this weekend possible. Located on Elmira Road, close to both downtown and the Cornell campus, book your next stay at the Hampton Inn Ithaca, the smart hotel choice whether you're traveling through the area or visiting kids at college. Here for business? Go for it. 607-277-5500. The Nickel City Hockey Network is also brought to you by Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy in Kenmore for over 60 years, by Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker, and by Pool Mart. For any pool, hot tub, or patio need, Pool Mart is your fun store. By 412 Communications, the new gold standard for small business digital media solutions. And by Envious Gameware, designers of high-end custom hockey uniforms, bags, and apparel. And by Colvin Cleaners. For dry cleaning, wash and fold, tailoring and more, Colvin Cleaners is who the league trusts to keep their uniforms the sharpest in the business. Bridges have connected people for centuries. When it comes to helping small businesses build bridges with the people they serve, there's a new gold standard. 412 Communications offers a uniquely comprehensive array of media solutions to help your brand establish and maintain strong, lasting connections with your clientele. Our coverage this weekend in Ithaca, made possible by the Hampton Inn Ithaca. Whether you're traveling through the area, visiting kids at college, or in town on business, the Hampton Inn Ithaca is the smart choice for your stay. Free Wi-Fi and a daily breakfast are included, plus access to the pool, gym, and business center. Enjoy all the wonders of Ithaca and the Finger Lakes area, and leave the rest to the staff at the Hampton Inn. 337 Elmira Road, not far from downtown Ithaca or the Cornell campus, 
Welcome back to the rink at Ithaca, where we are just about set for third period play between the Buffalo State Bengals and the Cornell Big Red. Our score after two is Cornell two, Buffalo State College one. Hello again, I am Sean McHugh alongside color commentator John Dwyer. I'm happy to bring you coverage of this UNYCHL matchup. And just before we get to third period coverage, we do want to again let our viewers know that our broadcast this weekend is brought to you by the Hampton Inn Ithaca. For your next trip to Ithaca, book your stay at the Hampton Inn. Daily breakfast, pool, fitness center, business center, all included. Taken the all natural beauty of the Finger Lakes and surrounding areas of Ithaca and have all of the comforts of home waiting for you at the Hampton Inn located at 337 Elmira Road, not far from downtown or the Cornell campus. Call to book your next day at 607-277-5500. We'd also like to acknowledge our sponsors through Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy in Kenmore for over 60 years. And with that, we are ready to start third period play. Buffalo State attacking right to left, Cornell attacking left to right, and we will have Joel Tempio, Ben Gallivan, Ryan Jankowski at forward to face off against Sean Benko, Grayson Shaw, and Max Miller. Puck sent back to the captain, Joey Padma Joey. Pad Monobon sends up the puck down, sent the puck, and is cleared oh, in. Wowza, Gallivan went hit. for the, the kill shot. Zone. Wow. Bal Gallivan went for the kill shot and just missed. Oh. Cornell keeping the puck in down low, held in there and chipped off of his stick by Mitch Thornton, picked up by Bobby Staniszewski. Staniszewski ships it. Somehow that's not going to be icing. Buffalo State will take it. Ben Gallivan in pursuit with Max Miller. Gallivan oh. blows Max Miller to pieces. Oh. Get Max Miller though, takes the hit, gets right back up like the hockey props. player he is. Wow. Big hit, Max Miller unfazed. Absorbed Shit. it. Absorbs it. Oh, got him changing. Oh. Here comes Buffalo State. Here comes Joe Latempio on his back end. And great defensive pressure there by Franklin Berry to recover as Latempio is knocked off the puck. Puck still oh. held in by the Bengals. Wow, both teams came out <laughs> mad in this I period. Was, I was just going to, oh, no. Oh, boy. Here's a breakaway by Dennis Brown. In, shoots. Wow. Oh. It. Where is it? Oh. Nah, and there's it no. It right on his feet. Great wow. play. That's a great job there by Cornell. Yeah. Breakaway in. Nobody on the back check for Buffalo State. A.J. White makes two saves. Nobody comes there to There's clean nothing, it up. Nothing AJ White can do there. Nope. Right at his pads, he had no idea where it was. If he just put his glove over it, he would be. The, it would have been there. And I know AJ is going to be. It's going to be in his head for the rest of this period. But he's got to snap out of it. Head up. We got a lot, a long way to go. 18:50 to go in the third period. Bengals are down by two. Great heads up play by Cornell. Great vision. Yeah, yeah, tough break for the Bengals right there. Great job by Cornell to attack and attack after a huge hit by Ben Gallivan. Cornell goes in 2 on 0 and a great save by White, but great follow-up. Never quit by the Cornell Big Red. That is why they have yet to lose in regulation because of plays like that. Newman goes D to D, sends it over to Ghost, and Ghost and chips the puck out into the neutral zone. Puck sent back in where it's picked up again by Cole Newman. Newman sends the puck over to Ryan Hahn. Hahn sends the puck cross ice up to Stotes. Too far for him. Hunt in pursuit on Franklin Barry. Barry sends the puck across where it's sent back up to Alex Allen. Ryan Hahn, he has been active offensively today, looking to carry in pursuit on Franklin Barry. Barry sends the puck up to Julian Bamont. Bamont, little difficulty dusting it off, but he gathers it, sends the puck in deep. Hits a skate, and Newman will look to send it out. Puck sent up to Alex Gosen. Gosen takes a hit from Barry, but gets it to Stotes. Stotes gets tripped Whoa. on the play, gets the shot off, chin music Ooh. on the goaltender, Rogotkin, and we're gonna keep playing. Here comes Alex Allen, manned up by Cole Newman. Allen blows by Cole Newman, fires a bad Ooh. angle shot, A.J. White has no idea where it is, it's in his pads. What a rocket, oh my gosh. A.J. Uh. White's rebound control was on full display right there, because that shot, yes, every shot on net is designed to score. But the safety net on that is you're looking for an unpredictable rebound, and A.J. White hugging his post made sure that rebound did not make its way to the front of the net. Yeah, if you're the Bengals, you somewhat want Cornell to take a few more shots on A.J., get his confidence back up, make those big saves, because he knows he's that type of goalie that can make those big saves and uh, be a game changer. Oh, very rare moment. That very Cornell rare Cornell misplay. But again, Anthony Lopardo, no head. And he gets the oh. Oh, dangerous, good fake, but then he goes in front of his own net. Caden Mendick in pursuit right now. Crapsy coming in, looking to lay a hit on Weinstein. Weinstein gets the puck sent back into the Cornell zone. 
Picked up there by Bradley Wang. Wang looking to send the puck out. Puts the puck up to Matthew Weinstein. Weinstein sends the puck where Crapsy will pick up the puck in the neutral zone looking to reverse ice. Crapsy sends the puck to Staniszewski. He's not able to track the puck down, but he does get the puck shipped out of the zone and out of harm's way, and Cornell has to tag up. And again, there is Tamara Rabin, who is just in there just making life miserable for any Buffalo State Bengals she can get her stick on right here. Here comes Nick Crapsy, one man back. Oh. And Nick Crapsy is rubbed oh. out beautifully by Max Miller on that defensive play. And he and got the call. Wow. He got the call. They're going to get Max Miller for interference. That, I thought that might that have been a, good defense. That was, that was but a pretty clean hit. Crapsy again draws another penalty. And the Bengals are going to get a power play on this. Usually when you see a forward chip the puck ahead and get hit, they let it go. That time they did not. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but as I said in the first period, the uh, Bengals haven't had a power play since that first period, and this they, is where they take advantage of it. They have no – it's it's not do or die, but no. if you're the Bengals, you might want to treat it as such because you got to get one here because two goals on this Cornell team is tough anyway. Yeah. Goaltender's hot right now. you got to get you're not taking shot. advantage of that one-man advantage, it's, it's, it's a must – for hockey, if you're not getting a great power play, then what's the point of getting one? Rather play five on five. Shot wide here, have kept in there by Ryan Hahn. Hahn sends the puck in down low for Latempio. Latempio gets squeezed out there by Franklin Barry. He gets some help there by Elliot Hunt. Hunt looking to fish the puck out of the skates, and Cornell will come up with the puck, but Ryan Hahn pinching right below our broadcast position, keeps the puck in down low. If you're Cornell, this is what you want, but here it comes. Stotes takes the low shot, deflected oh. just wide of the net. Elliot Hunt picks up the puck behind the Cornell net. Elliot Hunt turning around, looking on the half wall, sends the puck in down low. Latempio down low, sends it over to Hahn, oh. just out of his reach, and that's a tough break for the Bengals. They're going to yeah. have to tag up. Gallivan sends a pass across to Hahn off the wall. Back to Gallivan again, and Gallivan looking to hit the line with some speed. Gallivan through one defender, looking to go through two, but again, Harry Akins looks like he has been the assignment for Gallivan tonight. Has been, whoa, oh. crazy bounce, and that's what you need if you're Buff State right there to get an offensive zone face-off. As I was saying, it looks like Harry Akins has Gallivan as an assignment for a lot of this night. It looks like it's been switching between Bradley Wang and Harry Akins. I don't know if that's by design or coincidence, but be that as it may, Gallivan has made some plays today, and the defensemen and goaltenders and have answered every time. You expect that. For a player like Gallivan, they're going to have one-on-one -on -one man covered for him. If you can do it, more yeah. power to you because not every, very few teams are going to have any. Oh, great oh, outlet. Here comes here Cornell. Here they come. Matthew Weinstein. Oh. Really good puck possession, working the puck, gets it in front of the net, almost gets a backhand, but oh. Luke Stoltz is there to make sure that there's no shot to the net. Yeah, just off the tape on his stick. Latempio sends the puck up, and the Bengals looking to gain the zone. Luke Stoltz slams on the brakes and then reverses and gets going again. Stoltz gains the blue line and oh. gets absolutely leveled by number 28, Bradley Wang. Here comes a shot by Gallivan, oh. and again, there's the goaltender, Alexei Rogotkin, on top of the blue paint, makes the save, pinches the arm, and there is no rebound. Yeah, the senior from Lincoln, Massachusetts, he's been just incredible tonight. They had the one goal pass him, top corner glove side, but... Great uh, shot, no, no one's making that exactly. save. Exactly. Uh, Dominic Hasek, yeah, he's making that save, who are we kidding? But it's, it's, it's a tough game, and he's been their leading uh, contributor right now. Held in there by Thornton, Thornton... Shot blocked right there by number 16, Harry Akins. Again, he has been outstanding for the Big Red tonight. Mendick looking to keep it in. Newman sends it down below the dot. Here is Caden Mendick. Mendick just below our broadcast position surveying. Takes a oh. shot, but end save there by the goaltender, Rogotkin. Great save there. Caden Mendick had that corner picked, and he got the butt end of the stick. Pulled the paint. You know, he is from Massachusetts. That's yeah. where Jim Craig is from. Yeah. That's the guy to learn it from. And we're back on five on five now. Here comes Crapsy with some speed. Crapsy picks up the puck down below, mm. sends it in front. Nobody home. Nobody's there. Oh, oh, heads up, heads up. Everybody good? Okay, yep. Lucky fan gets a nice souvenir. Is he going to keep it? I would keep it. Oh, he's a nice guy, and he throws the puck over the glass. That puck would have been worth like $4 if he sold it on the internet. He's a nice guy. I don't know. Hockey pucks are a little more expensive now. Inflation? Oof. Uh, it's a, be, if it's a Howie's puck, it might have got the logo yeah. might be coming off, so they might yeah. have to maybe broken box discount it. Yeah. Sorry, Howie's, you guys make great tape. <laughs> Elliot Hunt will lean in the faceoff to take it against Ben Nepper. He does have a goal today. Um, right now, that stands as the game-winning goal. 
Both players lean in, and Nepper gets himself tossed. Oh, does he get tossed? Nope. Oh, he well. just the ref just made the tossing gesture, but did not actually toss him. He was stretching his finger. That's out. all right. I wouldn't. I think tossing players is dumb. Yeah. Hager keeps the puck in below the line. Nothing there. Newman again trying to send the puck up. Does a great job. And Elliot Hunt looking to reverse. Elliot wow. Hunt circles back into the zone with speed. Yeah. Aaron Johnson just a quick, a hair too quick. Ooh. And here comes Cornell three on two. Here, here's the shot by Cornell. Oh. Blocker save by AJ Wark. That was Julian Bement. Again, he's been noticeable today. That's. Yeah, yeah that, that was off. That came out of the blue line there. Like, like we say, it's it's rare for the Big Red to. Uh, lose a puck in the offensive zone. Yes, yes it is. They've been outstanding tonight um, at all ends of the ice. We've been treated to an outstanding hockey game thus far. And again, we are not out of the woods yet. We are at the 14.09 point of the third period with the Cornell Big Red leading the Buffalo State Bengals 3-1 to one as Joel Tempio leans in to take the face off against Robert Dysart. Dysart wins the puck and the Big Red wheel the puck all the way in down low. Allen sends the puck, blocked at the dot, slipped away by A.J. White. Cornell keeps the puck in deep and wraps it around, and there he is again. Alex Allen on the half wall, sends it down low. Steven Pernetta in pursuit, sacrifices his body to make a play. Puck gets down low to Cornell. Popping oh, out in front, and there's Dysart there. again. Yeah, there's going to be a scramble. A, yep, well, you, you jab at the goalie like that. Oh, boy, and uh, I think Han just got himself tossed. Yeah. I mean, again, though, when you whack away at the goaltender like yeah. that, that's going to happen. I didn't see a whole lot there that's going to warrant a penalty, but the, yeah, they're getting them, are they getting them both? Think. It's Alex Allen again and right. Wait, they got Han. Oh yeah, they got him. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's some discussion with the officials between Alex Allen. Yeah, he's uh, trying to fight this. I mean, he he might have a gripe there, John. I mean, he was playing hard and he got thrown to the ground. Yeah. I do like how the refs are trying to make it so they don't impact the outcome of this game. No. But having oh, said that, boy. Had, I mean. I'm not going to say I agree or disagree, but what I will say is if I'm Alex Allen, I am not a fan of that. I, I'm not happy right now. No, me either. And Alex Allen seems to be the type to be getting thrown to the ground. That's his position. That's where he's been Except playing. Except for he's still trying to go at Hahn, and I'm not sure that's a great idea. No, Ryan Hahn, will, uh, he'll bite back. All right, so again, Alex Allen, though, I mean, takes himself off the ice for two minutes. Oh, no, that's not great. But again, they've got the Bengals' top D-man off as well um, in the box. So we're going to play – are we going to play four on four? Yes, we are. We're going to play four aside. Two teams that can skate. This might be fun, John. Yeah, it will be. Staniszewski sends the puck up the wall, gets the puck over, sent in, and it's down there. Oh, and, it's, oh, oh. and A.J. White gets his glove on it as that puck was sitting in the worst spot possible. Yeah, he made sure he got that glove cover in that puck. With, with this Cor uh, Cornell power play, it's – He's, he's not going to take any chances with any rebounds tonight. No, can't be taking any chances with a power play that scored 20 goals on this young season. Uh, well, it's not a power play, but it, it's still, yeah, you have four yeah. guys on the ice against Cornell, so you got to play it similarly in the defensive zone. Mm -hmm. Latempio to take the face off against Kratzios, sent back in. Here's Miller, takes a shot, deflected oh. in front, and A.J. White gets the wicket squeezed and keeps that puck on his paint. Yeah, I one may think it's a power play the way uh, Big Red's been playing, and... They're keeping in the their offensive zone, and Bengals, they just got to get it up out in the boards, maybe look for that uh, breakaway we've seen in the past couple periods. At some point, the Bengals have to take the wheels off, and they got to go. Um, you're down two against a hot goaltender on a strong defensive team, yeah. so the chances are going to be hard enough. Another save there by A.J. White, but I get – oh, there's a whistle. Why? Oh, the net came off. Yeah. Yeah, the Bengals, they just got to find their groove. La uh, second period, they were shooting on all cylinders, and – They've come out a little slow, and Cornell, they've come out fast. They've come out shooting, and uh, Cornell has 36 shots on A.J. White. So uh, Bengals just got to get their shots up right now, stay in this game. Pat Madabon with a shot deflected. Big shoulder save there by A.J. White, picked up by the captain, Joe Latempio. Latempio sends a puck up, knocked out of the air by Hart, but Joey, but um, Pat Madabon again sitting to his position, and here they come again. Here comes Grayson Shaw. Oh. Shaw fires a shot. Rings it around the boards, kept in there by Max Miller. Miller looking to send the puck in front of the slot. Oh. It gets there, and A.J. White splits across, and we have oh. a pile up in front to keep the puck out. Great team defense there by the Buffalo State Bengals to keep that puck out of the net. I, someone yeah. seems to be yelling for a penalty shot. Yeah, that's Captain Joel Lotempio jumping in on the puck to just hopefully it doesn't cross that you line. You think at least the captain still is, is trying to play, and yep. so are the Bengals. They're putting forth effort, but they got to get some possession right now. And if you're the Cornell Big Red, oh. don't stop doing what you're doing right now. What's going and on? And rest motioning for Joe. Can't make a change. Okay. That's 
Mm. Don't really know what. Okay, well, so we're going to get a face-off to the right of A.J. White. And yeah. it will be the captain. Wait, it'll be Elliot Hunt to take the face-off against Ben Nepper, uh, the junior from Los Angeles, California, against Latempio, um, the Eden, New York um, native. Max Miller sends a shot that hits a shin guard and goes wide. Nepper sends the puck in front oh. to Elliot Hunt. Elliot Hunt's got some room, and he's going to try to hit the line with speed. It's Hunt versus Pad Monoban. Hunt looks to go through all of them, does not yeah. get through. Great team defense converging on the puck carrier by Cornell. Here comes Dennis Brown with a shot, fires it high and wide. Puck comes out to the blue line and out of the zone. Um, if you're Buffalo State, you're great. This is good if you're protecting a lead, but you're not. So you yeah. need to get the puck into the other offensive zone. And icing the puck is a surefire way to not do that. It oh, got waved it got off. Waved up. Well, that that this this ice slows the puck down. Yeah. It looks like Joey Padmanabon carries the puck through the neutral zone, sends the puck up to Cornell, and will gain the zone. Dicer again shoots it, and a glove save by AJ White, and we'll have another defensive zone faceoff in the Buffalo State zone. Yeah, one of the Bengals breakaways, Elliot Hunt was trying to go up on speed, speed on Padmanabon, but. That's just not happening the way he's been playing tonight. No, he's back. He, His back paddle is. Yeah. He's going to be tough to get dirty. around. Yeah. He'll, he'll poke, tech, poke check that puck out of there any day of the week, and we saw that just recently. Yeah, and we haven't even seen him try to throw a body yet, no. I, and I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that if he decides to play that way, it's not great for the person he hits. No. Cornell looking to circle the puck up, pops out in front. There's a shot saved there by A.J. White on Grayson leg. Shaw. Here come the Bengals again, sending it up Ooh. here. And Alex Gosen not able to corral the pass. Held in there by Ryan, by Jankowski. Jankowski sends the puck in. Newman in from his position to pinch. Newman goes backwards, loses the puck there to Grayson Shaw. And Grayson oh. Shaw dodges the hit from Caden Mendick. But again, the Bengals are back on defense to recover. But they cannot get the puck out. And here's a shot here. Ooh. Oh, man. Harry Akins let one rip. And that got caught by a high stick. But even still, that thing was whistling yeah. through the air. Here's an outlet pass here to Cole Newman. Newman holds the puck, sends it across over to Ryan Hahn. Hahn holding the puck, looking for a pass. Sends one to Mendick, but he put a little too much air under it. And the puck goes below the Cornell line. Harry Aiken sends the puck to Dicer. Dicer chips the puck up to Alex Allen. Allen chips it up, loses the puck to Ryan Hahn. Hahn sends the puck up to Caden Mendick. Mendick does not gain the line. And Buffalo State will send it to the blue line, looking to get oh it deep. Boy. Here's Gallivan. Gallivan holding the puck outside. Gallivan gets Ooh. on the outside. And again, no the goaltender, Rogotkin, holding the post. And the puck stays to the outside. This is where we see Buffalo State Bengals there. It's biting them right now. It's, it's middle of the third period, and they're making very slow changes when they got to be 100%. Gallivan again slides one, and Rogotkin just takes his stick and launches it out of play. Yeah. And we're going to have a faceoff coming up to the right of the Lincoln, Massachusetts native. You're not going to have a strong offensive zone possession if you only got one guy such as Ben Galvan in the zone. So if you are making slow changes coming in the zone, coasting through the neutral zone, there's there's nothing's going to happen. So Bengals got to fix that, and Cornell, they just got to stick to their game plan. Yeah, the Bengals have to start them. attacking with three or four right now. You yeah. got to start sending the pinch. I mean, you got to be responsible, but you need a goal. You need it now. Oh, the ref faked him out hard right there. Oh, that's a great set play for yeah. the face wow. right there, but a great play great by Cole play. Newman to slow out the rush. That was, a, that was a great stick right there. That stopped a two-on-one rush. Absolutely, and Grayson Shaw sends the puck in deep where Bobby Staniszewski will pick up the puck, send in there by Dennis Brown. Brown sends the puck back to Bradley Wang. Wang sends the puck in. Here we go. Dennis Brown looking in front of the net, hits a shin pad, bounces to him, hits another shin pad, and Cornell maintains offensive possession. Puck down low held in there by Sean Benko. Benko looks to send the puck in the middle, and the Bengals break it up and are looking to attack the line with speed with Elliott Hunt. Here comes Elliott Hunt inside, wow. outside, got taken down. Great defense by the Cornell Big Red. It's hard to take it up alone when there's two solid mobile defenders coming it's out of It's not happening you. ever. No. Here comes Grayson Shaw. Grayson fakes the slap shot, oh. and in doing that, he drew himself off sides. <laughs> it's not, not often you see that. No. No, I, I want to mention how... There's a saying that someone can puck handle in a phone booth and half the players on this Cornell team can. They can their their stick handling ability is unreal and especially when they're in their own zone, they're they're coming up with speed and they're they're laying down shots. Now at forty one shots on AJ White. Face-off won by Joe Latempio, sent back to Bobby Staniszewski. Staniszewski D to D passes behind Gallivan, and it will be an icing. Yeah, I'm surprised they uh they they've been waving off a lot of icings that were Clear icing, so I'm surprised that uh, actually went for one right there. Yep, yep, yep. They definitely waved that one. Look, they were going to say they 
We've seen that been waved off before. It was not this time. And now we are going to get a face-off in the Buffalo State defensive zone. Yeah, the Bengals got to put their foot on the gas right now with under 10 minutes to go, down by two. This is where you play 100%. 110%. Yep, and this is the guy to get started. Here comes Ben Gallivan. He's looking to get wide. Gallivan to his back oh. off the post. Oh, oh he, had, he left Max Miller in his wake, and then he got the goaltender, but the post decided it was not going to happen. Nice hip check there by Cole Newman. Knocks his man off the puck. Chases down after it in the corner. Newman and Bobby Staniszewski tied up in the corner right now for cor with Buff State. Cornell doing a great job keeping the puck in down low. Newman sends a pass up to Gallivan. Here he comes again, and a great stick there by Max Miller. Was not going to be had again by Ben Gallivan. Oh. Picked up again here by Bobby Staniszewski to Latempio. Latempio gets back pressure but gets the puck in deep. Latempio again. Max Miller having a whale of a shift right now, doing the work on Joel Latempio. Kept in there by Ryan Hahn. Hahn sends it down low. And there's nobody on the point. There's nobody down low. And Miller will send it up again. Juli uh, Julian Bement, a little too high for him as he outreached his paw to glove it down. And here come the Bengals looking to attack with numbers again. Gallivan chips it by his man. Looks in front and a great defensive play right there by Franklin Berry right as Gallivan was looking to send the puck across to Hager. Crapsey and Gallivan in on the four, on, on the four check for the Bengals trying to gain possession right here. We have Dysert, Berry, and again, there is um, Tamrabo Rabin. She has just been grinding the Buff State forwards down to a powder every time she's been on the ice. She's got the puck right now going in on Ryan Hahn. Takes the Ooh. shot saved by A.J. White. Gallivan throw is, throws Alex. At, oh, is that Allen? That is Dicer with a little bit of a shove there. And again, Rabin just grinding down, working below the dot, just making life miserable on these Bengals right now. Alex Allen again, out racing the Buff State defenseman to the puck. Allen sends it to Franklin Barry. Barry down low. Dysert sends the puck in lower. There's Rabin on Ryan Hahn. Hahn looks to send it out. Can't get it by the D-man. They're literally sending Gallivan as the hanger. This is the time to do it. Yeah. Thornton shimmy, shimmy steps and gets by Rabin. Rabin then with some more pressure. Puck goes up to Crapsey. A hair too far for him. Sent back into the Buff oh, State end. Here's move. Ryan Hahn with a good, tote, with a good heel drag. One bangle in pursuit, that's Crapsy. Crapsy throws a good body check, but Franklin Berry sends the puck up. Here is Dysert. Dysert sends a bank pass, great pass up here. Here comes Cornell, here's Weinstein. Wow. Gets to the net and A.J. White stays with him step for step. Great job getting him to the left side, that's his weak side. Here comes Nick Crapsy and he has Weinstein with him. Crapsy to oh. Weinstein. Oh. oh, great defense there by Cornell. Held there by Staniszewski with a shot saved by Rogatin. You got to get a screen in front there. Crapsy again. There's the physical game you want to see from the young forward. Crapsy throwing the body again. Here they come. Here come the Bengals. Here's Caden Mendick. Sidesteps his man. He's got Elliott Hunt trailing. Mendick takes the shot. Gets blocked. Mendick tracks it down. Gets down below the Buff State net. Mendick looking for Latempio. Latempio in the slot oh. and it's blocked on a great defensive play by Zach Weiner. Picked up by Mendick oh. and he's scored! Wow, that's the offensive zone possession the Bengals have been looking for. Caden Mendick with the, oh, got right past Alexi Rogakin and that's not something you come across uh, often, Zach, not often. Zach Weiner lays out to block the shot but Caden Mendick stays with it and shows the patience and puts a low short side shot right past the goaltender Rogotkin and the Bengals the 6-15 not going away tonight and they get it back to a 3-2 game. Yeah, no quitting these Bengals. I was just gonna say how Ben Gallivan, when you get him rolling out left or right, it he, that's his strong suit. He comes in in front of Rogakin and backhander right in, but that great play by Caden Mendick there. Oh, here we go. Latempio walking in. Latempio into the slot. Shoots. Just oh. puts it over the glove side post of the of the goaltender Rogakin. Picked up here. Picked up here by Brown. Yeah, here comes Brown. Sends the puck up. Here comes Miller. Miller sends it to the slot. Great recovery there by Bobby Staniszewski. Ped Monobon takes a shot that goes behind the net. Bengals looking to clear. Can't get out though. Alex Allen again being a pest in the Bengals, but the Bengals get out. Here comes Ben Gallivan and Miller again is not going to let Gallivan get through him again. It looks like Miller takes the assignment personally right now as he has played Gallivan extremely tough right now and Gallivan is giving him everything he can handle. 
Crapsy looking to get the puck out, sends it out to center ice. Crapsy in pursuit right now. I might say this is the strongest we've seen him play in a very long time. I could agree. Allen looks up for a pass in front, picked up by Golson down low, and Alex Allen picks it up again. Allen sends the puck down low where it's held in there by Sean Benko. Benko gets it in front, shot wide. Held in there by Franklin Barry. Barry sends the puck down low to Alex Allen. Give and go to oh. Allen in front. And A.J. White gets on top of the puck before the convoy can rake it in. Wow. And just <laughs> like that, to nobody's surprise, the Cornell Big Red got scored on, and they came out mad about it, trying to get yeah. that goal back because this team is as good at starting the fight as they are at responding to it. Yeah. And they're looking for a response right there, but A.J. White held his ground. Yeah, the league has seen that the Bengals struggle with holding the uh, opposing team to a goal right after they, they score. So it's, it's something we, we need, the Bengals need to uh, address. Steven Pernetta doing a really nice job on defense here. Here come the Cornell Big Red, but it's knocked off the puck by Ryan Hahn, sent up to Elliot Hunt. Elliot Hunt looking to attack the line with speed. Elliot Hunt puts one on, oh. puts one over, and Alex Gosen going to race down low. Not kept in, but here is Pernetta. Pernetta looking to send the puck down low. Gosen. Just getting to his feet, doesn't see uh, the puck coming. He is at, he's got the he is out of wind. Here yeah. comes Cornell. Here's Alex Allen. Steven Pernetta in pursuit. Allen sends it across, and the tip of tap just goes wide. That was Matthew Weinstein. You wanted to see more from him. There was his chance. Yeah, if you're Alex Gosen, I know you're tired. You got to get off that change much faster. You're you're Jeez. playing down five four there. Okay, and everybody on both benches just had their life flash before their eyes with that puck getting launched out yeah. of the zone. But the Bengals are going to get a much needed whistle right now. Yeah, they just need to assess the situation. There's 4.09 to go. Get a quick game plan in. Take that breather and pound the zone on Alexi Rogakin. Yep, they got to get some zone time. They got to start shooting. So the Bengals have four minutes and nine seconds to get this game tied. They've been outshot by 15, but two of them have gone in. So we have a game here. Bengals have played. Both teams have played exceptionally well. Goaltenders have been outstanding. We got four minutes left. Bengals looking to clear. Newman with a spin around in front of his own net. Puck is picked up there by Ryan Hahn and sent out, and it comes right back into the zone. Yeah, if you're Cornell, I want to say stick to your game plan, but they've been seeming to lose some 50-50s in the neutral zone, just like right now. Hager gets the puck into the zone, but not deep, and what do we got? And Mark Hager has drawn a penalty. Um, I, I don't know about that. Yeah. I, I think, okay, if you're the Bengals, you're going to take it. Yeah, Julian Bement's heading the box right now. And yeah, they called him for, um, they called him for, they called him for roughing. Roughing, yeah. There's not a whole lot of pushback coming from the Cornell bench. I mean, I don't know if that's the way they operate or not, but, I mean, I'll be honest, I as soon as Hager got rid of the puck, I was watching, I didn't see it, but either way, Buffalo State, the window is open. Staniszewski with a shot held in there. Han. Down low, he has been active tonight, and that's what they need. Latempio oh. looking in front. Gal oh, Gallivan had uh -huh. to get that puck. There's a 2 on 0 coming the other way. Latempio sends the puck to the point to Gallivan. Gallivan sends the puck down to Latempio. Latempio on the half wall, back to his point man, Gallivan. Gallivan takes the oh. shot, deflected in front of the net. And Gallivan leaves his point, and that opens the window for a clearing attempt. And here comes Gallivan again. Gallivan picks his head up. Surveys the area, oh. Cornell with a change, oh. two good moves here. Once he gains the zone, the Bengals got to go to the net here. Here is Gallivan. There's a lot of watching going on right now, not a lot of moving in the black and orange, and Cornell will keep it that way as they're just maintaining the box and they're keeping everything to the outside. And again, great play oh, there Ryan by the Hunt. big defenseman great Ryan Hahn, and here he comes with speed. And this is where the Bengals have to crash the zone a little bit better. The Bengals need to get so a new. Slow. The Bengals have to get a new unit out there. There's no possession right now. Nothing's yeah. going to come of this. They got a minute left on the penalty. AJ going to send the home run pass, and there's Han. Oh, and a little give and go to Elliot Hunt. Elliot Hunt shakes free of one man. Hunt takes the shot, bl shot blocked there by Miller. Han, man, this guy's all over the ice today. Ryan Han again on the forecheck. Nick Crafty joining in to help out. Han has it Whoa. in his feet. Has to back check. Saucer pass sent up, and here comes Weinstein. He's got Gallivan the forward on him. Weinstein takes a shot, takes it out of the net. Crapsy's going to have a shot with a rush here. He's got Elliot Hunt. Crapsy crossing over with Miller on him. Crapsy takes oh. the shot, saved by Rogotkin. Crapsy again. Throws it in front for Hunt again. Oh, oh and there's Rogotkin with the game save with the game savers. Gosen to oh. Newman, and he overhandles it, and he can't keep the puck in. Wow, great back, great back pressure by Newman though to keep going, and the Bengals are going to get another rush out of this. Crapsy with the defender on him gets takes a shoulder, but he keeps going. Aiken sends the puck up, 
and the Bengals, Elliott Hunt turns. Elliott Hunt turns, nice move at the neutral zone. The Bengals got. I don't know what's. Uh, Crafty sending the puck in deep. Um, there, there, that, that is, is a very odd change right now, but yeah, nothing's I, getting called, so cool. Yeah. Oh, Bengals almost kept it in here. Okay, this is it. It's crunch time if you're the Bengals. Here comes Ben Gallivan. Gallivan tries to go through center ice. The Bengals got to move for him. Everybody in the building knows this offense is going to go through number eight. They, someone else in black and orange has to do something here. Just like that. Here comes Cole Newman. Newman, he's got him on his hip. Here's Newman looking for the wraparound. Sends oh. it across. Nobody home. No one's there back door. Gallivan in pursuit. Sends it down low. He had two guys wide for him. Net is empty in the final minute of play. Here we go. The Big Red and the Bengals. 3-2 to two in the final minute of the game. Puck sent up here to Cole Newman. Newman sends it through the middle of the Gallivan. Gallivan going through the neutral zone holding. Sends the puck in down low. Mike Jankowski in pursuit down low. Harry Aiken sends the puck up. Cole Newman does not keep the pinch in. And nah. the Bengals have to retreat. The Bengals have no forecheck right now. And they need to get on it. The net is empty. Cornell doing a great job breaking out. And there's Cole Newman and... That'll oh. do it for you. Newman kind of wow. swipes at his man, doesn't stop him, gives him a free look at the net, and Cornell, never say never, but gets what appears yeah. to be a dagger here. Now, the Bengals I'm not, were, I'm not expecting a Rasmus Dahlin type goal at the end of the game with seconds to go from the Bengals right now, but well, they're going to try. They, they will try, and but what a game. What an effort. What a I mean, performance by both teams. Wow. Game's not done. we got 26 and a half seconds to go. Not over the clock, hits zero, but... From the looks of it, Cornell's going to come out of this. Yep, I mean, they can tell there, 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 there is no celebration. There's nope. no talking. The coaching staff is saying we are business. As far as I'm aware, Cornell's going to go for five. They, they got should. 30. They, they should. should. And if you're above state, you're not done yet. No. You come out shooting like Caden Mendick right there. Miller sends the puck up to Dysert. Dysert steps around his man, and Hahn pushes through him. Allen sends the puck up to Brown. Brown sends the puck in where Aaron Johnson will pick up the puck with Dysert in pursuit. Dysert looks to send the puck in front. Here is Allen again. Allen cycling the puck down low. Ryan Hahn picks up the puck. Hahn with three Cornell defenders are going to pinch him, and that is going to do it today. Buffalo State came in. You got to think they were pretty big underdogs. They gave a very strong Cornell team a very, very strong effort tonight. Tip of the caps to both teams, but the Cornell Big Red showed that they are putting their money where their mouth is when they yeah. say their goal is to go to Nationals. They are four lines deep, three D pairs deep, outstanding goaltending, an excellent system, and everything they were doing was working. And if you're Buffalo State, th there's been a lot of lot. There's been a lot of losses. You have literally no margin for error, so yeah. there's no such thing as there. a as a moral victory. But yeah. this was better. This is you a, can build on this. There's hope. There's a lot to build off from this game. There's a lot of positives for both, team, both teams. And some could say Cornell's going to look at this game and go, we should have played better. They're coming into this game looking to get a surefire win against the 2-8 Bengals, them being 4-0-1, oh, only losing to Niagara in overtime. But, yeah, great performance by both teams. A.J. White, easily the best game of the season for him, stopping what looks to be 39 shots on goal. So great game by him. All lines of the Bengals played extraordinarily well, and uh, there's no reason to put your heads down. You're playing a tough team. They're young. They can skate with skate with every line of the Bengals, if not every line of the league, and there's a lot to look for in this team. And uh, Cornell, they play Binghamton tomorrow, and uh, we'll have uh, Sean oh, with the uh, three-star of the game. All right, so the third star, I have I have the defenseman, number 10, Max Miller. My reason behind that, it looked like Ben Gallivan was his assignment for the third period. Oh, yeah. Gallivan did everything he could, but he had a great defenseman on him. And then the goaltenders were the stars of the show today. Yeah, second star of the game, number one, A.J. White for the Bengals. Even though he caught the L4-2, he's what kept the Bengals in the game today. And he kept his head up throughout the entire game. There's... Uh, only one goal. I think that one goal was right on his pads. He, he didn't see it. If he covered that up, and I'm sure he's going to think about it for the rest of the day, but great game by A.J., and uh, Bengals are going to look to have a promising rest of the season. They're going to come out of this with a lot of positives. And, of course, our first star of the game is Alexi Rogat Rogat Alex excuse me, Alexi Rogatkin. Um, he made the saves he had to. I mean, he had two Ben Gallivan breakaways. He stopped them. There were countless chances. He yeah. stopped them. 
The Bengals had opportunities to be in this game. Cornell outshot Buffalo, 43, Buffalo State 43 to 30. But as far as high danger chances, I don't know how much of a gap there was, if there was one at all. Yeah, I said it throughout the entire broadcast. Alexi was just a pure brick wall out there. I don't know where we found the uh, Bengals found the top right corner, left corner, and then where Caden Mendick threw uh, right through his uh, left side. But somehow the Bengals got through there. But he was just a brick wall tonight. Yeah, he was outstanding. So um, the Bengals fall. Uh, you know, the Cornell, excuse me, Cornell improves on their impressive season as they pick up another win today. And as for the Bengals, you know they, you know they have a loss, which is never good to stomach. But at the same time, it's a good, it's um, positive steps for them. What do you got for me, John? Yeah, Cornell faces Binghamton tomorrow. The Nickel City Hockey Network will have live coverage from the historic Liner Rink on the Cornell campus. Join us at noon tomorrow for the Big Red and the Bearcats in a key UNYCHL Central duel. Yep, absolutely. We are looking forward to bringing you coverage of that game and the coverage of this game and that game as well are possible because of the. Hampton Inn in Ithaca for making our coverage this weekend possible. I repeated myself and located on Elmer Road close to both downtown and the Cornell campus. Book your next day at the Hampton Inn in Ithaca. The smart hotel choice, whether you're traveling through the area, visiting kids at college, or here for business, call to book your next day at 607-277-5500. Before we bid you farewell for this evening, I do want to acknowledge our sponsors one last time. Ivy Lee Pharmacy, a locally owned neighborhood pharmacy in Kenmore for over 60 years. Militello Realty, Western New York's premier commercial real estate broker. Pool Mart, any pool, hot tub, patio needs, Pool Mart is your fun store. By 412 Communications, the new gold standard for small business digital media solutions. By Envious Gameware, designers of high-end custom hockey, uniforms, bags, apparel, and more. Visit them at enviousgameware.com to make sure your team is the best-looking team in the league. And by Colvin Cleaners for dry cleaning, wash, and fold, tailoring, and more. Colvin Cleaners. Colvin Cleaners is who hockey teams in the area trust to keep their uniforms among the best in the league. And that will do it for us tonight. Uh, the final score from the rink at Ithaca, the Cornell Big Red 4, the Buffalo State Bengals 2. For camera operator Jeff Jezerowski, for color commentator John Dwyer, I am Sean McHugh. Thank you again for joining us. We will see you tomorrow from Historic Liner Rink at noon here on Nickel City Hockey Network.